Mate, have we got another sick review for good day? Oi, I'm going to read a couple out. Yeah. Um, <coughs> so, si- and dribblers, 64 you know. five-star reviews, punters and dribblers, which is a fuckload already rolling in. This one came across my desk recently, and I fucking loved it. And Shout I just- out to everyone who has got around the good day. Um, we very much appreciate it. And... As much as we appreciate it, I hope, and it sounds like from these reviews, you're getting the same benefits from it that we are. Listen to old mate here. He's five stars, top product. Was genuinely surprised at the ingredients list for the price point with this supplement. Good day have not skipped on quality. Do we ever skip on quality, punters and dribblers? Very difficult to find a product like this on the market. Recommending to anyone who will listen. This isn't some bush league product, punters and drillers. We've partnered with the best in the fucking business, all right? And they've delivered quality for you, the punter and the dribbler. That's right. So that you can turn your fucking lives around and start making some healthy, sustainable decisions. Pretty simple. That's it. Now, I'm going to read a couple more. Is that all right, It's Tom? completely fine by me, buddy. Should I read out the one that we read on Bloke the other day, Fuck just yeah. in case some people just missed it? This is an absolute... Fucking doozy. I'm padding whilst I look. Begoodhealth.com.au is where you go to get your good day. Uh, you can get it for one month, two months. You can get a subscription. The uh, the code is dribblers, and you will get um, you'll get a discount. Twenty percent. Use it. Twenty percent discount. Life changer. Five stars. Have a go at these puns, dribblers. I cannot express how much this has changed my life. My wife, my wife has even noticed a huge change in my moods. I'm a father of four working hard and trying to be a good husband when life really got on top of me. It's been a tough, it has been tough the last two years until I tried Good Day. Along with a change of diet, I feel great. I wish you could eat well as well, punters and dribblers. You can't just eat like shit. Good Day will not offset eating feces, okay? Like you have to <laughs> eat well. <laughs> But it will fucking help. Listen to this. Not so tired, happier, more energetic. I cannot thank Good Day enough and would recommend to anyone. There you go. Everyone's saying, i tell you what a lot of the reviews are saying, Tom, as just as we can just give a, more of an insight into how it can help the punter and the dribbler. People are saying their 3pm slumps are gone, 2pm mm. slumps are gone. Every motherfucker gets slumped in the afternoon. You yeah. crash, you fall off a, a, a metaphorical cliff or an energy cliff, really. Good day takes that away, baby. You'll plough through all day long. Yep. So get your good day, begoodhealth.com.au, and change your life. You are listening to the Hello Sport Podcast. Edward. Yes, mate. Good day to you, sir. Can you pour me a big day rosé, please? Of course I can, mate. Look at this bottle. Ice fucking cold, yes, dripping off the dripping. side. Bit of condensation. Shout out to condensation. Tom and I... We're musing in the green room uh, around the fact that daylight Grassy. savings, not long for this world. No. Two weeks, are we? Two weeks. That blew approx. my fucking pants off. Two and, a, two and a pinch. And we thought we should get into a fucking bit of rosé while the getting's good. But you know what's funny, though? And, I, and by funny, there's nothing funny about it. Uh, but it's a turn of phrase. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. To us. To us. And to you at home. <laughs> um, we're coming into one of the... Oh, Still fuck, good. that's good. I haven't had one of them for a while. Still good. Fuck, that's good. I had a couple oh, recently. Dude, that just made my tongue come. Yeah, I, just had, I had a couple recently, actually. I had, one, I had a bottle last week. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, that's good, dude. My God. And obviously, it may seem like I'm saying that, but like... I mean, it's, it's won awards, so it was even fuck... Jesus, that's good. Not the point. I mean, it is the point. Uh, HelloSport.shop. Um, we're coming into like, I mean, obviously, I feel like every season you get into, I'm the most excited for that season. Like by the time summer rolls around, I'm, I'm moist for summer. Yep. By the time uh, autumn rolls around, mm. I'm ready for some HD light. I'm ready for it to be a bit chilly. I'm ready to get rugged up. I is there another way of approaching this, Thomas? Whereby you could argue you've got to earn your seasons. Yes, yes. Like you've got to earn your rugby league football, and the way to earn it is to put your body through hell in the silly season slash horizontal season. Not hell's not the right right word, but there's a lot of ripping and tearing done around that period. It's a form of hell. 
Shave, shave a couple of years off. Correct. I mean, you got to sit through 25 glorious days of test cricket. Again, all earning your stripes for rugby league season. Mm. Then rugby league season rolls around. You got to watch 24 rounds of rugby league football plus finals. You got to earn your summer. You got to yep. earn your cricket. Mm-hmm. And I feel like at the moment, we've well and truly earned our HD life. Yeah, we have. Which isn't with us yet. No, it's not. Pete, there is a misconception out there that footy equals HD light. Incorrect. 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 I would argue that you can't achieve HD light, Thomas, whilst daylight savings is with us. Firstly that, but also it's about where the sun sits in the – like where we are it's in relation be, to the it's, sun. It's got to be Earth lower. Axis sort of stuff. It's got to be lower in the sky. Yeah. It's got to be lower in the sky. Yeah, it does. It just does. It's Earth's axis sort of stuff. That sort of gear. Now, where I'm getting at here is some of you might be out there thinking, Jesus Christ, as it cools down, do you really drink rosé? And I can understand how you might think that you don't, but I actually, you know when you when it's fucking cold and it's an HD light sort of a day and you're sitting in the sun but you've still got a jumper on and you're still wearing pants but you're getting warmed up by this sun and then you're sitting there enjoying a nice fucking rosé. Like, it doesn't, obviously, it doesn't have to be a rosé because I'm just talking about cold drink generally. White wine, a shardy, a beer. But, like, just because it isn't 40 degrees doesn't mean that, it doesn't mean that cold drinks go out of fashion. They Co- just don't. Cold drinks don't go out of fashion. News flash. News flash. It doesn't get that cold in Australia, bar for, like, one or two months in Sydney, Specifically, here I'm talking. Obviously, there's parts of Australia where it gets pretty fucking cold. But on the whole, where most people live, there's like one or two really cold months. Otherwise, April, May, March, fucking pretty warm. It's fucking hot as shit today. Well, it's of course it is. It's well, hot it's as March. It's hot it's as a autumn, technically. Dick, I know. And I'm ready for it to end. Anyway, it just so happens we're enjoying a rose today. It just so happens that. You can make smart decisions and get yourself some because it's always rosé season. Um, and <sighs> feels like a pretty good time to celebrate. We've got Easter coming up next weekend. We've also got Daylight Savings going out of fashion, as it were, out of vogue the weekend after that. So, I, If you – if you, if you if you today, when you listen, this is Thursday. You get rosé today, it's with you in time for – Easter. For Easter. That's right. For in, in terms of to celebrate the Lord. If I have it on good authority, given that I actually know the Lord's Son, mm. is Jesus Christ the Lord? Is He our Lord and Savior? Yes, He is. He is, but so is so is His Dad. A, we listen, know both of them. Don't ask too many questions; it'll get you wrapped up. Well, we know both of them, via and Peter, and we've got it on good authority that He is a rosé drinker. But don't They're they also drinkers. like you can't fucking buy booze like on the Friday? That's an Australian law, so yeah. you got to get in while the getting's good. It's absolute good. horseshit. Well, the by getting's the way. good now, but like, don't force that on me, you fucks. Anyway, so whatever, uh, you can get it. We've also got a cool collab coming up around Big Day Rose. I'm not going to say too much more, but it's cool. But it's cool, and there are, there may or may not be like breadcrumbs in this video if you're watching on YouTube. There may be. If you're watching on YouTube, there may be breadcrumbs, but we won't give them away. But there may be breadcrumbs. Keep your eye out. Keep your eye out. There might be breadcrumbs. That's hey. all we're saying. There's sport to go around, and we'll get to it. We love sport. It's in the name. It's in the name. But I just saw this video the other day, and I felt like it bared uh, viewing, mentioning, observing, because I feel like whilst it's not a uniquely Australian thing, you see this happening on the around the world, this felt very Australian to me. And it was a big, fat bogan bitch on a flight from Melbourne to Bali. A big, fat bogan Bitch on her way to Bali. Yep. She loses her rugby league mind on the flight and they have to turn around and ground it. Or like not even fly back to Melbourne, but they had mm. to land somewhere. Like everyone had to stay in hotels. Are you Are you really a bogan? Like have you... A, can you achieved full... Can you, can you call yourself a bogan in the purest sense if you haven't made that pilgrimage to Bali? Well, I certainly not. But I thought I was. I was hoping you were going to say like, 
Like, uh, well, I guess unless what, you've uh, turned a plane unless around. You've well, I mean, that's around. what tier of bogan have you that's, reached? Uh, listen, you, listen. No, that's that's that. Now you're talking about bogan tier. Yeah, that's god tier, though, right? If that's, you ground that's like, a you know, flight, you know that you know that fucking that video uh, that. Vince McMahon. The meme where yeah. it's like pure enlightenment. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's been a big, fat, smelly bogan getting a, a Jetstar flight turned around. Yeah, or grounded. Or grounded. Yeah. Either or either. Same shit, really. Same shit, different smell. But to this chick, can we get it up? And again, it's a quite rightly, I guess. Well, let's watch the video first and then we'll, we, can, we can give our thoughts on the big, fat, barley bogan. Is there going to be an ad here? Dyed hair. Shave sideies. Oh. Keep your fucking mouth shut. Jesus. And uh, so that was a big fat bogan abusing an elderly person. Why? Listen, I'm not sure. Maybe Tobler can, can look into there and see. Uh, uh, the woman spent 30 minutes, uh, I think, in the toilet. So I think she was under the impression that someone had stolen her phone. So she went up to the cockpit door and was like banging on the cockpit. Like someone stole my fucking phone. Oh, the cockpit. Unruly. Yeah, they've got it. And then it's just blown up. I love chaos. that that you are such a, a big fat bogan that you have clearly just lost your phone on the flight, right? Oh, the, yeah, the pilots. But the pilots must have it. Yeah, the, let's go and bang on the fucking pilot's <laughs> door and abuse... A 75-year-old who she believed... he was That was the guy in the video she was screaming at. It was believed to be like a 75-year-old hand, dude. Hand added that the woman had... Pl uh, the, uh, but why uh, was pacing she Pacing up and down the aisle of the aircraft before hurling abuse at a man believed to be about 75 years old. Now, the thing is here, she's a woman, so no one got up there and beat the fuck out of her, as is the right way to handle that situation. Apparently someone that, did slap her across the face. A man? Not 100% sure. I think gender. You need, that needs to be woman on woman crime there. You well, can't be doing listen, that. Listen, listen, listen. Or is, are, are the rules of the sky different? No, the rules of the sky are not different. It, they, that needs to be woman on woman. But mm. I would have liked to have thought that maybe, Another given bogan. we're flying to, Bo, to Bali, there could have been a few more other bogans <laughs> that could step up. Yeah. A couple of fucking, you know, peroxide, shave side operators. Maybe a little bit of purple, Tom. Face tap. Maybe a oh, bit I of like a purple. Maybe yeah. a little bit of purple through there. Maybe a couple a of... Weave, a weave, like big old braid. Maybe a braid. Well, you braid on the way back, Tom. That's a great That's, point. You braid in here. Bali. You're on you the way braid, You braid on the way. Mm. But someone who might have a bing, ting, sing, bing tang singlet on, they're... they're, they're An ex like a, a preemptive excited... I've already been here before. I've got a bin tank singlet on the way over. Yeah, I want to arrive. They've got a early. couple of uh, authentic Balinese tattoos, or like the method is authentic. Now, what happened to this? So, in that photo, BFB. they did end up restraining her and like tied her down to a seat at the back of the plane. So, if you look at this photo here, it's a couple of blokes that are like helping restrain her to a seat. Jeez, it's taking plane. a few of them. Well, she was a BFB, dude. Like, she was B and F and B. Well, BFB. A big fat bogan. Big B B W F B. Big wild. Like she's wild. Yeah, she was she's wild. kicking and screaming. No, yeah, she was. She was wild. Well, would you say feral? F feral. Big fat feral bogan. <laughs> um, a BFFB. Yeah. If well, you come across a BFFB, you'd want to have your wits about you. In in a bogan missile, I believe, which is what the Batuta <laughs> advocate call jet star planes. A bogan missile. <laughs> so a BFFB and a bogan to missile. Bali, yeah. yeah. That's beautiful from our friends at Batuta. Yeah, it is. But like in terms of tears, if you've turned a plane, if you've had a plane turned around because of because you've lost your shit, yeah, that's like that is a huge tick on the way to God tier bogan. Oh, I love that. Yeah, same. So they had to go back to Melbourne and then reschedule the flight for the next day. Any any quotes from any un? Uh, you you know, would be. Where was it? How long into the flight did this shit kick off? Three hours. Fuck so, me, dude! You would be so robust. They were just above like Alice Springs when the captain decided to turn it back. I've got a question. Surely, if you and we, oh, I like to think that you and I, Tom, live in a democracy. Well, that's fair. I would have been of the opinion that. If the flight attendants did a quick sort of uh, show of hands, show of hands, thank you, from all in attendance, who's comfortable with us 
restraining, tying, Hot and ties. and gagging this B- BFFB so that we can carry on our merry way. Because if once restrained and gagged, it's play on, isn't the it? The problem that you then face, though, is once you're in Bali, who's like, do we? Do, is she's Bali's problem now? Do we let her run wild and free? No, 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 no. Or do she, we just then put her no, on the no, next no, 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 no. She remains restrained and gagged. They vacuum around her, they clean around her, and she's on the next plane back. Because the jets they fly, they, it'd be turning around and going back. So they'd just refuel and send her back. Refuel and send her back. What like close down one of the shitters, tired yeah. of that. Like in Wolf of Wall Street, when they time to the seat with all the belts when they're going to Switzerland. That's exactly right. Because mm. mm. she's not getting into the country, obviously. She's been misbehaved and she needs a smack. But yeah. I don't think that you... Putting out... Let how many people on the flight? Let's go 300. Putting out that many people, accommodation paid for, things to do, people to see, like plans. There might have been a few honeymooners on there, Tom. You're fucking everyone over to turn around and drop this bitch off. Just gaga. Yeah. Oh, listen, I get it. You could certainly, like, a couple of, you know, do a, do a, like, you know, you go around, anyone got any spare socks? I'd give up a sock. She if was it abusing meant- everyone on her path, even shoving a fellow passenger, holding a baby. Yeah. Fuck this fat bitch. Just gag her. What happens when they got the, when they got back to Melbourne? Did she get arrested or is she? I think she was handed over to the uh, AFP. Look at her face, dude. Go back up. Look at that. Red. Like, Jesus, she needed a holiday. Look at her. She was fucking... Jesus Christ. She, she needed a root end. too. She's fucking fuming. She's fuming. I'll have hair like that soon, I think. That's top It actually looks a, a bit like, like, looks like you, dude. That, he wasn't even sick. <laughs> yeah, shit. That trip to Noosa was actually... Meant yeah, to he's just like, Bali. oh, no, sorry, I can't make it for a few days. He tried to nip off to Bali. That looks like you, Tobler. It's that maybe not a she a at bit. all. Could be. Yeah. Love the ho- love the hoodie as well. Yeah, that's fucking Tobler, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'll be driving up on my next trip. Yeah, as a big fat feral bargain, either you've got the hoodie on, you got the singo on. It's one of the two. Look at that look she's given a seventy-five year old man. She'll fucking she'll punch on. Fucking oh, she'll punch on. Huge stuff. Love that. Punters and dribblers podcast is always brought to you by the betting platform of choice over here, and that is. Neds. Neds, baby. Neds. That's it. Number one in Australia, in our opinion, nay the world, nay the universe, nay the multiverse. Now, if you want to follow Tom and I and our mate Guru and our mate Sebo, I mean, I think Tobler's on there, but who cares about that? The Profiles tab, Ed, it's uh, an innovation by Neds where you can go and you can see what people are betting on. It is essentially accountability in app form. Well, it's accountability personified. Correct. Uh, There's also obviously the About Even group in there where everyone's sharing their own bets, giving each other shit, having a laugh, having a chuckle, having a Paul Rahihi. That's a rugby league reference that some may not get. But no, I will. liked it. Listen, if you followed me last week, you would have got two from two from eight and you were robbed on two others. That's just like that's just an aside. But what I'm saying is Edward Simpson, 29th of 1st, 1991, Double Base Hospital, starting to heat the fuck up. Whereas starting me, to heat the fuck up. Thomas William George, Birmingham, 10th of June, 1989, Barrel Hospital, cold as fuck but not about me not about it's you it's about, about neds. neds and we love you what's gambling really costing you for free and confidential support call the number on screen or visit the website a couple of a uh, couple of sports stories doing the rounds last night though just when i was trying to put my daughter to bed i just wanted to let you know uh my daughter being evie rose first of her name which tr- like we what are they, four and two? We'll still, like, lay with them to put in a bed, especially Zoe, the youngest one, because Evie got that, and it's like we just feel like it's a nice thing, you know, like you're sort of calming them to sleep. But you do you, bro. It's a fucking huge ball lake as well, because if they don't go to sleep, you end up laying in there for an hour, and you fucking maybe you fart pass out, and then you walk out, and it's 9 o'clock at night. You haven't eaten dinner. You don't know what's going on. You know where you are. But anyway, so now we're just, like, chucking Evie in bed and going, sleep Bedtime. now. Anyway. Steph uh, can hear Evie's still awake, goes back in, and Evie's ripped half of the wallpaper off the wall next to her bed. <laughs> Why? 
because there was a, a little rip in it. So she thought, fuck yeah. Just and get she into just it. ripped it all down. Did you just, put that up? No. It was there. Yeah. Yeah. Jammed it all down the side of her bed. Just but, ripped the fuck out of it. And How we, much uh, of the wall was gone? Probably, well, like, of the part of the wall that's next to her bed, probably like maybe a third, if not a bit more. And does she get reprimanded for that sort of behaviour? Uh, she gets reamed, but then she starts crying and she's so goddamn cute. Now, I'm not a rollover parent where it's like everything's okay, but it is very difficult to maintain anger when they are so goddamn cute. But she like, there's almost, there's also like not a whole lot you can do with a four-year-old. Like you, you help them see that what they did was fucking wrong. So you wouldn't be, you wouldn't be getting her to put it back up. Listen, I could, but I don't know whether she's got the capabilities to do it. Like, you'd be better off just not doing it than getting a four-year-old to do it. We'll figure it out, you know, no? she's a smart girl. Yeah, that's why she's a smart girl. She's a smart girl. She knew she was doing the wrong thing, but I'm like, Jesus Christ. Now, you're a bit of a, like, a legal eagle here. Is that just wear and tear on the property? Would I get me bond back? Listen, mate, I'd be taking it down. No, let, let, okay, let's get a lay of the land. What colour's the room? It's kind of like cream wall. You know Evie's room. Yeah, but I don't know the colour of the room. Like, the, is, there, is there just one wall that's yeah, wallpapered? It's, it's, uh, no, it's all the same. The whole thing's wallpapered? Yeah. you got two options. Either you, you, you wallpaper the wall in a similar wallpaper, you rip it all down and wallpaper again, or you rip it all down, pretend like there was no wallpaper at all, <laughs> and just paint the walls. Pretend Frame. like there was never wallpaper. Pretend like, what are you talking about? There, there was, was never ne wallpaper. There was here. never wallpaper. Here. Okay. And pick the same colour as the rest of the house. But either way, I'm not getting out of this thing without a bit of work. Well, you're going to have to, well, I mean, t yeah, you're probably going to have to do some work. I painted a wall, I painted a room recently. Painting's not that bad. Painting's all right. But I got to rip down all the wallpaper then and then lie to them about the fact that, hey, you misremembered this, the way this house was. Because you got it wrong. Don't well, look at the photo it's not. You know, it's not about that. It's just about pulling it down, making it fit in with the rest of the house, and saying nothing. That's what it's about. Okay, so it's up to them to notice. It's up to them to notice, and I don't think the owners walk through these joints very often. We fucking barely have any inspections ever. I've well, exactly. There you go. So I think you're better off just going. There's no wallpaper here because they're not looking for. Cha wholesale changes real estate agents they're looking for shit they can pin you on oh bit of a stain here mate mm. if you go in and the and it's you know you got great walls that are painted you know our mate sam shout out to him get him over there he's fucking pff, i got him into our joint ella didn't like the color of a room got oh you sam got him in, in did you fucking oh he said he missed you he's cheap as chips sam he's he, best yeah, in the no, business he's good but he's great. Just, sam's great you don't know who the fuck i'm talking about no. dribbles, but this bloke I believe I can't remember what country he's from. I think he's like a, a doctor from where he's from, but can't get. Isn't it crazy? You can't get like uh, licensed or whatever. It's the crazy. Word is. Steph's like got heaps so of the, family. So he's on the he's on the paintbrush like. amongst other things. He also yeah. great at, uh, you know, plugging holes and stuff like grouting and shit. Grouting and shit, all that stuff. I'd be getting him over, man. I've never I've never heard of a painter. When you hit him up for like work, he he said to Eddie the other day when because we're getting him to paint this wall. Yep. Shout out to you, wouldn't new podcast on the Shane Keith uh, network? Go check him out, Will and Pat. Um, but you sent him a message to get that painted, and he's like, "I've missed you." He said he missed me. He said he's missed him. Aww. Mate, I got a Christmas message. Really from yeah, Sam? Fair Ingham. yeah, from Sam. Me and Sam are good. We're tight. And he painted this whole joint, didn't he? he what painted, did he just do that wall? No, no, he painted the whole joint. He's painted. That pink wall, he's painted that blue wall, he's painted this pink wall, he's painted the whole joint, he's painted my house at home. It's not even my house. Ella just didn't like the uh, aesthetic of the yellow room, so she's painted it white, and that's her right. Did you have to get approval for that? Didn't ask. Why would I ask? Because the answer would have been like, mm, nah, they're not going to notice. Interesting. I do like your approach. They're not going to notice. Sometimes I'll get a bit scared. Um, well, what's the worst that can happen? Ta I'll just go, what, you want me to paint it back to that scat yellow colour you had before? Sure. Yeah, get right Sam on. back in, cheap as chips. Paint it back. No, I'm no foul, mate. Yeah, fair call. I'll be getting Sam in, 100%. And I, honestly, I wouldn't be telling him jack shit. Because right. painting would be cheaper than wallpaper, you'd imagine. Wallpaper as well. Like, it's not even a – it's just a coloured wallpaper. Like, why wouldn't you just paint that anyway? What's underneath? 
hits and shit. Doesn't look great. That's why. So you might have to wallpaper, buddy. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> I've never done wallpaper before. It reminds me of just like, I wouldn't do it. Don't you do no, it. No, no, I won't. You'll fuck that up. I will. It's like covering school books, but for your walls. Can you put it this way? Can you wrap presents very well? No. Well, don't try and wrap a wall, mate. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, good point. Can't wrap Asking presents. for trouble. Wrapping presents is one of the great cunts. One of the great time. cunts. Doesn't come. It's not intuitive. I don't know how you Sheila's do it. Do you, like... I'm generalising here massively, but most women I've met are great rappers Steph of presents. Could, Steph could rap the fuck out of a Is present. that something that is done at school at a young age? I, I know that sounds sexist, yeah, but you're all does. very and, good and at this it. Is a, again, this is going to sound sexist. I don't mean it. Maybe you are skewed differently here, but folding clothes. Again, I get it. I get how this sounds, but I'm not mean. Just don't. Don't fucking look at me like that. But like, you know, me, like there's there's men out there I can't that are, fold clothes. There's men out there that are really good at changing tires and some that aren't, Tom. But like generally speaking, you know, men are pretty good at it. Women are pretty good at fucking wrapping presents. And folding clothes. I don't mean that in a sexist way. I'm not saying you should fold clothes. I'm saying you have the skill. I don't have it. I try. I've been no, trying. they've got the desire. I've tr- mate, I've got the desire. I try <laughs> fold shirts, dude. I try folding shirts. Never do it, but... But do you have the desire? Mate, do you have the do you have the want? Well, listen, I have the desire to try. I don't have the desire to if at first you don't succeed, you pick yourself up and try again. I don't try again. Pick yourself up and try, try again, again. Try, try again. again. Is that Lisa, 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 Lisa Lopez? R.I.P. if it is. Uh, I can't be fucked to do it more than once. But like, you know, like how do you do you, like how do you fold a t shirt? I go like pinch in the shoulders, flip it around, and then just I go. Fold in half, then fold on itself, then put the arms in, then fold it over. So I've got like it saves more space in my. But cupboard. hold on, so you fold if I'm the if the two like if the t-shirt is like me here, like the way this t-shirt is presented, held out like I that. I take your shoulders and then fold it round. So you fold the t-shirt in half on itself. Yeah. Oh fuck. Then I put the arms in and then I fold. Oh wow. And then I fold again. But see, that's not like that's a weird fold of the shirt. Do you know what I mean? Like you want the shirt to like sit flat, like it's like this bit being flat, so it's not. Don't Why? Have, well, so you don't have like a crease down the middle of it. They don't crease, really. Yeah, I know what you mean. They don't really crease. That's just maybe how I've been taught. Anyway, not saying women should fold clothes or wrap presents. It's just that it seems like all we're saying it. is you're good at I mean, it. That's all it is. It's a compliment. That's a compliment. Don't take that the wrong no, way. No, don't try and fucking twist our words here as we enjoy a big day rose on a fucking Wednesday. Don't trust it. Don't trust. Apparently, don't that's it. an evolutionary thing. Oh, now we're gonna get in trouble. Tell me what women are. Women well, are good no, like folders. evolutionary, like men would go out and hunt, and so their skills were more focused on hunting, while the women were at home, like um, gathering, preparing cooking utensils shirts. and you, gathering you herbs and stuff. Pig yeah. now, now that is sexist. But are you no, saying evolutionary? But, no, hang on, no, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's let's, un- let's unpack this because wow. you might be on you might be on like misogynist.com. <laughs> no. When you say evolutionary, yeah, are you trying to suggest that in a female's DNA, they are hardwired to be good folders? According to psychologist Cliff Arnold, scientifically, there may be an anatomy, an anatomical reason females are good both at wrapping gifts and enjoy doing so. It's called the corpus callosum. It's this thick band of elastic tissue that connects the two halves of the brain, and it's significantly thicker in women more so than men. And according to him, that is developed evolutionary since the hunter and gatherer times. No, we're talking more about present wrapping. Yeah, they were wrapping presents back in the day, I think. Um, Maybe they used to wrap them in like, you know... Well, is it more just about... Corn like husk. The, the, yeah, listen, I just think that that's disgraceful. And I just want to <laughs> apologise on behalf of the podcast that Tobler comes and spouts that misogynist. Well, he's, he's not spouting it. He's... he's no, that's a good point. He's merely quoting. He's quoting. Yeah. I don't, don't let's not say man. that's not a direct quote. <laughs> Listen, it's it was meant as a compliment. It was meant as a compliment. It that was meant, yeah. What, please? It was meant it was, as a compliment, and it was please. all and 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 like and speaking ill of ourselves. If someone said to me, Edward, you're an incredibly good rapper of presents, I would tell the world. Yeah, I'm fucking awful. Speaking of presents, by the way. Oh, fucking what a segue! Get us out of that fucking quagmire. <laughs> Tobler's keeping us in all that fucking. I had Sebo pissed off over there. He's about to come punch on. Now, we've got this gift here. I don't know. Oh, I don't know what it is. Sebo's the feminist Batman, though. You yeah, know. he is. He's fem- Yeah, he's an ally. <laughs> um. <laughs> Fat man. 
Uh, hey, hey, like hey, hey. Gathering. Don't shoot me, hey, mate. This like was what I found online. Well, because he's a berry guy. Yeah, he is a berry guy. He's fucking. <laughs> no one's getting him to kill a lion. Well, let's be honest. If I, if to be honest, none of us. Let's are. be honest. We're all berry guys. We are right? all berry guys. I'd be, dude. I'd be sitting with the but shield, I'm happy, fucking braiding hair, I'm mate. I wouldn't happy be out being hunting. A berry guy, though. I, but you think I'd be hunting? Nah. I'd be on berry patrol. Yeah, bro, one thousand percent. Yeah, and then I'd probably eat the wrong one and die. <laughs> um, HSP horizontal season may have ended. This is the worst handwriting. This is almost as bad as yours, by the way. Uh, yeah, it's not it's great. Pro, it's a little bit. Yours better. might actually be worse. Uh, horizontal season may have ended, and sure, your new halves are looking splendid. You'll still find in this coming winter times where. Boredom strikes like a splinter, and where can you and where can you turn in these times of need? Jesus Christ! This is actually this isn't my reading ability. I promise. You're not a great reader. Though. I'm not, but this is tough. To the greatest game of all, without a seed, yours vaguely, Big Mal. Jeez, that was tough, Bruh, That was as tough as it gets. Now. You don't look a gift horse in the mouth, as they say, Edward, as you and I have always said. So we've got a gift. We've been saying that recently. A bit of context as well. It was given from the same guy, R.D. Malco, who created the So Fresh, So Dribbly Christmas CD album at the end. Who of was last a layup year. to get a baggy grain. And then completely fucking shit the bed. Oh, okay. Shit the bed with. Oh, this actually looks pretty dope. Hello Sportopoly. So, is this Monopoly, but Hello Sport version? Bruh, this could be the fucking coolest thing ever, though, right? I'm like, I'm prepared to... Contents. Game board, eight tokens, 28 title deed cards, 12 chance, chance cards, 12 treasure chest cards, 32 houses, 12 hotels, two dice, money pack. Has he made this himself? I'm, I mean, who the fuck else made it? As in, like, do you send away what you... You know what I mean? Bro. Dude, this thing's just fucking pretty fu- Hello Sport Topoly. I'm glad we didn't uh open this beforehand. So there's hotels. Now he's just got Give all Give us the an monop- example. We've well, just got all the Monopoly pieces here. He's got hotels and houses. Yep. But then in the cash, Dan Ganane is the ten dollar note. Yeah. No disrespect. I think that's I mean, just the fact to make it, I think it's an honor. Block is the five dollar note. Dan's the ten. Phil Gould's the $20 note. Yep. Uh, who's the dollar? Hold on, we've got even lower. The dollar, the mighty Buzz Rothfield of Mayo Man fame. This is so fucking dribbly. Richie Benno, $50. Shout out to well, Richie. Well, who's 100 got to be Shane Keith. Just wait. Uh, 50 for Richie. $100, the great Ray Rabs Warren. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Rabs and Richie. $500 is the old man. <laughs> oh, that's a nice touch. That's a nice There's touch. There's your cash. Now, what are some of these fucking... This is so dumb, dude. Oh, I'll give you the uh, the board to look at maybe while I'm... Oh, fuck it. We'll do one at a time, eh? Uh, what the fuck is this? So, I don't know if these are the chance cards or what. They've got vegan gummy adventure. Oh, my God. Bear with us, punters and dribblers. This is fucking all over the shop here, but it's good. You find a helpless bandicoot on a walk. Pay $100 in vet bills to nurses. <laughs> <laughs> to nurse the bush rat back to health. <laughs> That's you're a, great. You're a grown man who, sh- who, who shits his pants. Take a good, hard rugby league look at yourself and miss a turn. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy gets a night off the tools, pay $150 for Domino's, Maccas, and some gummies. Uh-oh, you lost a side bet. Pay $50 to each player. <laughs> Show me these. Dude. That's great. These, these are, are actually... Fu- this the is vegan, actually, What's the vegan gummy adventure? I'm assuming that might be a chance uh, that it, or a community chess. You start your own traveling carny company, lose 100 bucks. We talked about that in the past. We have. You forgot your passport in a foreign country and are taken care of by a lovely family while you wait for a replacement. <laughs> Pay them 20 bucks for their troubles. 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> You're a promising Scots first 15 player on debut. Two, pay $200 for a spare knee. Yep, accurate. Fair. 
Oh, here's another one. It's so fun. Uh, then dribbles and yarns. I don't know what this is. This is community chest. You choke after going down on a golf ball too long. Pay 50 bucks to dislodge <laughs> it. Remember we were saying that when you stood over the ball for ages? So then there's this card, which is dribbles and yarns. So I'm not sure which specifically is, is which, but you wrangle a stag, collect $100. Love that. Love that. Whilst attending a wedding, you rescue an elderly gentleman who's fallen into a ditch. <laughs> he pays you $500. <laughs> Bro, this is fucking mad. Tobler wins Which a bet. Which is exactly what happened. Tobler wins a bet. Uh, receive $50 for selling his flared jeans. <laughs> oh, yeah. You receive $200 prize money for becoming a marathon man. Fuck you yeah. land an Ozaki 8, collect $1,500. Oh, Ooh, yes. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. win a Hacker Major, collect $200. You successfully lobby a streaming service to sponsor your show. Collect a hundred dollars. You and a mate start a recording. Start recording yourselves talking shit and become. Oh uh, yeah, fuck yeah. Podcast. I don't want to. Uh, Two hundred fifty dollars. Dude, this is fucking mad. All right, take that. Now, what are the properties? Oh fuck yeah, dude. This is great. So these are the properties. These are the yellows. Sebo Circuit, Lou's Loop, Jarch Junction, Big Day, uh, Big Day Rose Vineyard, Tobler's Track, Dior, Dior Dave Drive, Eddie's Esplanade, Hamish Street, <laughs> <laughs> Horro Harbour, Rando Reserve, Jeff Athletic Arena, Denon Downs, <laughs> Guru Grove, Brockman Boulevard, Punters Park, Dribbler Domain, Fabri Flats, <laughs> Garrick Peaks, St. Volandis Cathedral, Tonka Trail, Daly Cherry Evans Farm, Tommy Burns Terrace. Then these look like some utilities. About even, if one utility is owned, yeah, right. About even, Breaking the Yips, Brookvale Oval uh, is a train, Royal Indian Resto Bar is a train, Charles Sturt University is a train, Shane Keith Productions is a train. Holy Fuck. This is good shit. This is very good shit. Is that, does that seem like a lot of houses? No, I feel like it seems like unders. So he, yeah, we're Mayfair and Park Lane. Look at this board, bro. Looks legit. Dude, this is yeah. fucking sick. Show me. Oh, fuck yeah. Dude, we got to play this. Hold it up to the camera? Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. A sense, it's, it's basically Hello Sport Monopoly. It's Hello Sport obviously. Monopoly. That, I mean, if you, haven't got, if you haven't got that by now, you're a fucking idiot. Dude. Seba, you're on a Monopoly, man. Yeah. Hello, Sport Monopoly. One of them's you've got your own fucking place in here as well. You've got your own property. Your, yours is Sebo Circuit. Sebo Circuit. You're a yellow. Yellow. <laughs> you would have preferred a green or a blue, but like, that's all right. Who's in jail? Uh, jail is Voldemort. Oh, show me. <laughs> <laughs> says allegedly of course <laughs> does it yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. free parking is Scotty Bellotti <laughs> very 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 Bro, good this is so good has he made this himself in terms of like dude surround yourself with goers and you two shall pass go <laughs> <laughs> Love that. This is a, there's a lot of effort in this. Dude. What are the uh, little pieces? Oh, that's just some Monopoly pieces. Just yeah, Monopoly. Monopoly. They're, they're your regular your regular Monopoly pieces, yeah. Which is more than okay given the effort that has been gone to here. Holy shit! I mean, this is one of the best fucking gifts we've been given, and it's, the effort is out the ass. Well, the effort's out the ass. There's a lot, like. The amount of effort here is almost unrivaled yeah. in terms of doing all these cards and shit. Mate, but just the box. Look at the box. With this, on the front, look Has at the Has he side. made this himself? Well, he's either made it or got someone to make it, but that's the same thing. Same thing. Pretty much the same thing. The money. It's good. Bro, this thing's hectic. I like that your old man's the 500. He'll like it even more. He'd love that. Yeah, he will. His house is flooding at the moment, so he probably needs a fucking win. Flooding? Yeah. Jesus. This is very, 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 very good. Yeah, it is. Where do you sit? 
<laughs> Obviously, there's <laughs> there are matters that we need to get down to. Yeah, and for the point of building suspense, I'm going to go do away. Here you go. Unfortunately, the edit will not be as suspenseful suspenseful as you piss, but <laughs> we'll be right back after this short urination. All right, Eddie, how was the wee, first and foremost? Good. Yep. Brief. Did you lift the toilet seat up this time? Yep. That's good for you. Uh, what well, sort we of can now. Thanks no, to I know Will. we can, thanks to Willie B. Um, I just, and obviously we will come to a decision here, um, Big Mel, just hold on, mate, don't rush us. I just want to check what sort of state your urine was in. Were you, is it a hydrated wee? Was it a bit yellow? Do we need to drink a bit more water? What are you, where are you at? It was hydrated. I've had my good day this morning. Obviously, I've been having them every morning and feeling fucking terrific, as is the punter and the dribbler who's trying it. If you aren't, you've got some work to do, bruh. Uh, it was it was a hydrated wee, not too fluoro, actually, because I had it this morning and I've been on the yeah, waters the good all days day. will give you a, a, a fluoro wee wee, but that's all normal. Uh, but I've been on the waters all day, mate, trying to keep myself hydrated, you know, trying to be healthy in that. Uh, so it was a good way. Cool, good. A strong, honest Australian way, which is all you can ask for. And we piss better than the mo- well, than most. I'd yeah. say I'd say pound for pound, we piss better than. The so rest it's of the frequency, world. or just Australians? No, I'm saying Australians. When it comes to urination, we, we can urinate with the best of them. Yep, that's what I'm saying. Yep. So, would you agree with that? Oh no, I would agree with that. Um, based on not a lot, but I'd agree with it. So, what do that you vibe and vibe mm, on? What are you thinking here, bud? Hello, Sportopoly. Big fan of it. I'm a big fan of it too. I'm a big fan of it. Like uh, it's f- for me, it feels like it's RTP ready to play. Like you could, you could fold this thing out, flop this thing out right now, and you could be on your way. I would enjoy. Part of me wants to, and this is just my mind's just gone here, so just work with me. How funny it would be to get another one made or a couple made. Or like multiples, mate, and just leave them in Airbnbs when you go there, so that like families <laughs> can play. Pl- play with it. And they'd be like, "What the fuck is, is this?" this game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't you reckon that'd be funny? That that's would a be great funny. idea. No, that's a great idea. I love that idea. Like, obviously, part of me, obviously, like uh, the money man in me wants to Sell it. start selling these. I don't know where you'd get to legally with our old friends at fucking Hasbro or well, wherever the got fuck a, they are. We've got a board game idea that we're... We do, but this is done. Well, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, listen, this, in terms of our idea... Our idea is better. Yeah. No offence. Well, no, this is just very specific to us. And if you don't know us, if you come to an Airbnb and you're not a punter or a dribbler, you'd be like, who the fuck are these guys? Therein lies the gag. Yeah, that's, that's Whereas sure. our idea, which is better than this, we need to actually get whips cracking on Yeah, that. we do. We do. Because Christmas it's already Christmas March will be Christmas will be here before, before you know it. Um, I'm going to just say it. Big Mal, welcome to the Yellow. Well done, buddy. If at first you don't succeed, try, 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 again. try, 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 try again. Try. I just found under my desk his uh, discography from Christmas. Yeah, both the yeah. albums. Um, His they attempts. Were not, well, they weren't winning. They weren't. This thing is. Well, they though, didn't win. They didn't win. They they weren't. A lot of efforts going into this though. Fuck really that. well done. Um, essentially, that rules out board games for Baggy Greens moving well, forward. Well, it does officially. Yeah, <laughs> if you had one in the works, then you know, maybe a twister would get me over the line, but probably not. No, probably not. That's not, any, not anymore. We haven't even read through all those cards or anything. No, like well done, mate. The level of detail here is absolutely fucking outrageous. Like the fact that you had that one of you saving that old guy from the ditch, like the that, guy has gone through but the But I'm not like how many people know that? I, Pat I yourself on the back if yeah. you do. Yeah. Well, like I mean, I think people were listening when that young came around, but like I'd forgotten it completely. I actually mentioned it recently in uh, my MC speech. Show. It was top of mind for me. I hadn't thought about that for years. Anyway, big mouth, baggy green, well done, bro. Um, Congratulations to you. That'll get sent out, and we'll see you at the fucking lunch. End of the year. Um, on that, it's going to be on the summer solstice this year. All right? What date is that? Is that a Saturday? Saturday the 22nd. It's on every summer solstice. If you've got a baggy green and you're not there... I'm going to start taking fucking notes on who comes and who doesn't. Yeah. And I'm going to start getting the fucking shit. Well, you just won't be invited. 
What's the cutoff? Unless you've got a great fucking excuse. John, you don't have a good excuse. No, you come don't. Come earlier. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not You stay here for fucking seven weeks anyway. I don't yeah. I don't know why you couldn't come a pinch earlier, no. mate. Hiles. If you miss listen, I reckon if you miss three in a row, you're done. Yeah. There you go. Three in a row, you still Three get, in a row, you're out. Still your baggy green, you're just no longer invited to the lunch. Correct. I'm gonna ask you to top me up some rose as well. Don't you think that's fair? Yeah. Three in a row. If you miss three in a row, you're out. You're not out of the uh, the, the eleven, you're out of the lunch. Simple yeah. as that. Ned Brockman was there last year. Do you know what I mean? And he's a bigger deal than you, John. You know what I mean? No offence. I don't think you even need to follow it up with no offence. I think that's just <laughs> commonly accepted. Um, and he bought me a fucking ass, rather. A bottle of 1942. Yeah, class, class. Don Julio, the guy is yeah, yeah. classy. Classy, dude. Classy from top to bottom. Top to bottom. Anyway, bit of sport. Yeah, I think it's probably time for a bit of sport. What do you got? See you, Sebo. See you, Sebo. See you tomorrow night, mate. See you tomorrow night, mate. See you tomorrow, tomorrow night. It's tonight. It's tonight. See you tonight. See you tonight. Yeah, for work. See you tonight for work, mate. Sebo joining the stream with Streety tonight. Uh, he's just got to go home and run it by his... Uh, his wife? His sleep-deprived wife. Yeah. So we wish him all, all the, the best. best with that one. Um, but it is work, technically. Now... Eddie, are we in danger of losing the Brisbane Olympics because the Queenslanders are a bunch of softcocks who are like basically just telling the what is it IOC what they want to hear and then like just walking it back? Well, What's going on here? So Tobler will get up the fine print, but I'm going to go off the top of the dome in terms of what I read last night. Basically, they've been doing financial reports into what's viable. Like is 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 redeveloping the Gabba viable? Is knocking the thing down and rebuilding it viable? <coughs> is building? Isn't that why there wasn't a Gabba test this year? So we're going to knock the fucker down? No, because how many tests did we have this summer? Five or four? Five. We had five. They would have had one. Did they play the Gabba? Why didn't they play it first? Or was that maybe for something else? Is that for like a World Cup? Hang on, they shit? didn't play at the Gabba. Why didn't did they, they play at the Gabba? Where was the fucking other test? Wasn't a Hobart? Doesn't make sense. Now no, I'm confused. Where was it? Now I'm heavily, heavily confused. Well, yeah. No, they must have had one. They, they must have. have. They, they must have, have had one. They must have had one. Just not first. But there was must have been a reason why. Uh, because of the what, the World Cup. Women's Soccer World Cup? No, because of the World Cup. The World Cup. They obviously moved the timing around because it started later. Remember? Cricket World Cup. The Cricket World Cup pushed the start of the test summer, which usually starts in November. Why would that mean you can't have it at the Gabba as the first test, though? I don't... Because they're obviously like, well, Gabba's usually late November. You're getting fucking shafted to January. That would be my thinking. It started in Perth. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I mean. So the first two tests were skipped. Yeah, the first two were skipped, which is Brisbane, Adelaide, traditionally, and they were moved. So to go, what, Perth, Melbourne, Sydney... Then Gabba, Adelaide. Adelaide, then Brisbane. Oh, right. So, anyway. Against the Windies. Basically, the, what, what the report is spitting out is that redeveloping the Gabba at a cost of like a couple of one point something billion, apparently the stadium is not going to be able to be used beyond 2030, almost as a full stop. Something to do with its location and its footprint geographically. I think maybe access to the stadium, Tobler, you'll be you'll be Dior. Hold on. Your little fingers will be going crazy over there. I know they will. Well, no, it's fine because he had like maybe 40 minutes beforehand to look it all up, so that'll be all right. But <laughs> read of, so apparently they can't knock it down and rebuild it because they don't have enough room. And redeveloping it would be a waste of money because, as it was put by someone, there wouldn't be a legacy left from the Olympic Games in Brisbane. It'd just be, oh, let's redevelop the stadium, then it gets knocked down anyway. So it's going to get fucked off regardless. Apparently, yeah. Apparently it's getting fucked off regardless. Before the Olympics? No. As in, like, even if you redeveloped a bit, it's it, the stadium itself, what it's made of is untenable by 2030. So even if you make it look nicer internally and put change rooms and shit in, structurally, it's still, it's not, it's no good. When's the Olympics? 2032 though, right? 2032. So or the, maybe, maybe... So then how the fuck's the stadium going to be there? So basically they'd be limping it through to then and then that'd be, that would be the end of it. Isn't basically. that what they're trying to do? Limp it through? 
but they're saying, why would you spend one and a half billion limping something through? I thought they were fucking knocking it down and rebuilding. But it. apparently they don't have enough room to do that. Which I'm like, well, where the fuck was this information? But what do you mean room? It's there already. As in, like, it's not big enough and they, it's not enough, like... Space around it Space to around it? it and stuff. Can you... I mean, Toddler's slow. Yeah, so the guy just said that it won't go past 2030 because of a limitation of space. Yeah. It'll never be a tier one stadium. So it is there. So it won't be a tier one stadium like an SCG, like an MCG, like a Perth Stadium, like an Adelaide Oval, because... They're limited by space, so they've got to find other areas to do it. And I'm led to believe that it's become such a shit show, they're so at sea that they're thinking of having the opening and closing ceremonies at Suncorp. And running track... Where are they going to run track, potentially? Like the, uh, like a, at the Queensland Athletic Centre. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Like, could they not build another stadium somewhere else then? So that was a recommendation to spend $3.4 billion to build a new 55,000-seat venue at Brisbane's Inner North. And they were like, nah, we'll go for the cheaper option, which is putting up temporary seating at the Queensland Sport Athletic Centre. That's Bush League. So, let's, so just to get it nice and clear in our minds... The Queensland Athletic Centre, which is probably like Barden Park in Dubbo. Yeah, yeah. No, not to impugn Barden Park. Be, mate, Barden Park is a beautiful bit of, bit of kit. I was never able to run there as a child, but it's been tartaned. Well, because it was, uh, I'd ran there, but it was grass. Now it's tartaned and beautiful. Okay, right. But it is in Dubbo, and there is no seating really, except for like a small stand. So they're going to erect seating there to hold the Athletics competition like, like the 100 meter final is going to be at Barden Park at Barden Park Dubbo essentially with with uh, some erected stands obviously that'd be basically what you'd see I would imagine at a high school football game correct but higher and then they're going to have the fancy stuff i.e. when the IOC president arrives at Suncourt which is a bit schmicker Right, so what's the fancy stuff going to be? Like, would you have the 100 final at Suncorp? Because you can just do it... No, middle. no, I think they'd just have the opening and closing ceremony there. Okay. And then have the athlete... Because typically what you've seen historically, typically historically, is that the opening and closing ceremony will be in a stadium that hosts the athletics as well. That's what. Yeah. Oh, that's what. I don't think anyone's gone away from that. So this would be we're we're treading into new water. I don't. Un, and I mean, listen. I get completely why a state government, or at least the constituents, wouldn't necessarily want their tax dollars going to a three billion dollars stadium redevelopment for the Olympics, which gives us no money except for, I guess, like economy, the stimulation of the economy. But are you? But are you? Sent, but is Queensland essentially saying though that they don't want to host Test cricket either? Well, because if the Gabba goes, where are you hosting Test matches? Well, they, we've got they've got at least some time to work that out. No, they don't. Because, well, because if the, the stadium if the stadium is going to be fucked by twenty thirty, well then that would be time that I, that would be the time I'm talking about. Is yeah, but that, wouldn't but is wouldn't Barden Park in Queensland? But Thomas, wouldn't you build a new Gabba or a new cricket stadium that could also host the game? Yes, yes, no, absolutely. Would you not do that? That makes no yeah, sense. Yeah, I guess you're right. So you just go, let's build the fucking the new stadium that can host it all, like an, an Optus Stadium in Perth. Dude, do we just give it to Perth? Sorry, Queensland. That's what I'm saying. Sorry, Queensland. Fuck you. We're going to Perth. What I'm saying is why wouldn't you build... Go to Perth, dude. Like, is there anywhere in the article, Tom? Tom? Tom. That's his name. Yeah, I guess. Is there anywhere in the article where it talks about what will happen on the Gabba, what the plans are for the Gabba? No, it doesn't say anywhere what they're talking about with the Gabba. Just that they rejected a $2.7 billion refurbishment of it. And the Olympics pay for none of this shit, right? They go, we'll no, come to no, you, they, you pay no, for everything. No, 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 they kick in X amount, guaranteed. Can you see what that X amount is? I thought but they so, were like, but the fuck problem, you on your The own. problem with the Olympics, and I'll give some credit to the, Brisbane, the Brisbaneans, 
okay, at our Dribblers tree the climber f- mates, yeah. they are at least being considerate of the dollars because yeah. the problem and the big red flag, the big uh, big red flag for the Olympics moving forward is the astronomical cost of the fuckers. Mm. And I get probably that. fair enough, you don't want an Athens situation, a Rio situation, a Beijing situation. A where Sochi. You, a Sochi situation where you build this shit, you use it for two weeks, and then it's fucked off forever. Rio, the stadium for the football, in disrepair. The golf course, fucking done. Like nothing, they don't use anything anymore. No. Complete shit show. Look up photos of Athens, mate. Look up the photo of the pool in Athens. Like it's yeah, just let's derelict. get some of those up. That's fun. Get these photos up of these shit holes that and don't know how to don't do it. Don't ask for specific Olympics. Just go like abandoned Olympics. Go ab- no, but go abandoned Rio stadiums, abandoned Athens, Athens stadiums. stadiums. They'll come up, baby. I've looked them up before. I'm probably we've probably looked. Look them at up these. Before, da- look at that. Fuck. The Athens one, they didn't even put a roof on, so that's got a bit of Barden Park about it. Oh yeah. Big time. I mean, listen, I kind of get that as well. Like, I don't know if it ever rains in Greece. That's a vibe thing. And obviously, I've only been there in summer. Look so. at that. That still looks pretty good considering. Where's that stadium where, like, they ripped all the fucking Rio. chairs out and shit? Rio. Rio, I think, might be the worst one. There's a great Instagram page called Abandoned. I don't know if anyone's seen that. I'm yeah, sure I love it. Have. It's fucking cool. Look at that. Etch. No, go to the other one. Etch. Look at this. No. The stadium where they ripped the chairs out. The fucking that one. Middle. Look at that. Look at that. They built that for Olympic soccer. And now it just sits there. They didn't even have... I don't even think they, they had the Olympics there. They, I mean, the athletics there. They just built it for Olympic soccer. I think they won gold though, so... It's Jeez, probably it worth, it. worth it. <laughs> but like, why do you just... Why don't you still use it? I don't understand. Like, you fucking... It's like, it's like the Brazilians don't play soccer anymore. Isn't that wild? So I can I can I can appreciate that they don't necessarily want to build these things for them not to be used. Look at the the kayaking center. Where's that? The top one, top above where you are. Up oh, yeah. Wow. Look at that, dude. There'd be some skateboarding going. Look at that. There. Just at least we still use our stuff from the Sydney Games. Fucking oath, we do. I'm actually really pumped for Paris, though. That aside. I still get really stiff for a bit of Olympics. Fucking eyes. Stiff as a board. Stiff as a board. I love nothing more than than donning the green and gold and cheering, you know, Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi style for my nation as we win gold, gold, gold. Yeah. I, although I think it's super bogan for Queensland to basically put forward Barden Park for the athletics, I get it. I actually, there's a world I, actually, I actually get it. I'm like, you know what? Suncorp's a sick stadium. It is. And fucking Caxton Street's right there. Have events in that. Dude. Have the have the opening and closing ceremony in that. Athletics, you can fuck off to this other bar. How old would we be at 2030? I'll be in our prime. 43? I'll be 41. Yeah, I'll be 43. Prime. That's still rippable t- territory. Oh, you think... You, okay. Okay. I thought I was you, like, okay. might be 53. Oh, you like, don't? Shit. Okay. Well, we know plenty of 50-year-olds are ripping hair. No, I know. But there's like, there's a probably a point of uh, where like ripping and tearing is like a bit like, Jesus, bro, you might kill yourself here. But 43, you can rip. You know what I mean? You can rip in your 50s, mate. I'll give you the hot tip. Oh, I know. I, I know you can rip in your we 50s. We know 50-year-olds are rip. We know 50-year-olds are rip. I'm, well, listen, 41, that's prime of my life. Mm. I'm going to put a hurting on Brisbane yeah. in 2032. Yeah, I'm going yeah. to put a fucking hurting Speaking on that city. Paris, we want to put a hurting on Paris. We're not going to go to Paris unless there's anyone out there that wants to send us and my wife and kids because I can't go away for that long anymore. Um, that'd be cool. Like, if you're going to send us all to Paris, Ella, Steph, Evie, Zoe. Tonka. Oh, Ella will go. She'll love it. Oh, Tot- nah, leave Tonka. We leave Tonka. You're right. That'd be too much. But if you can send, the, like, all of us, like, as a big family... A family package that's split up so that we're not actually together. No, no, no. no. Like we spend the, the whole time. time together because obviously Steph's going to lean on Ella for support. She's going <laughs> to help look after the girls. Great point. And actually, Ella, yeah, about time you did something. You know what I mean? I think, but it's also for, probably for good. For Tom. Well, for, yeah, and good training. Yep, good training. No, that's not an announcement. That's, that's no, no, <laughs> it's not, no. It's not an announcement, but it's like, you know, 
you're preparing for something. It's like if you fail to prepare, you prepare to fail. That's a great point. Um, so, Hang on, so Queensland brethren, Bogan's up north. We're back on board yeah. with your plan to roll Bogan out the, the most Bogan fucking Olympics of all time. I'm actually fucking on board with that. Yeah, because it makes economic sense. And because and you've showed your working, but also you've yeah, showed yeah, you your have. working. But also Queenslanders generally are a bit half ass, and I mean that with <laughs> the utmost respect. IOC contributes a large uh, a large part of the finances needed to stage an Olympic Games in Tokyo. One point seven billion, Beijing eight hundred million. Excuse me, Paris one point seven billion, uh, Milano Cortina. So Where I, the fuck is Milano Cortina? Oh, that would be for the uh, winter, winter Games, probably. Milano. I would say in Milano Italy. Cortina, Italy. So it'd be Mal- it'd be in two cities. God, uh, LA will be a fucking. I want to. I just want to say something though, if 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 you don't mind, Tobler, can I just take a wild guess here? Yep. Are you on an IOC website? Yep. That yeah, I, you've you've confirmed my suspicions. The IOC contributes a large part of the finances needed to stage an Olympic. A large part is that right? <laughs> Los Angeles Olympics, one point eight billion USD. They're talking about building a new stadium for 3.2. That's before every other event. It's before wholesale changes to the fucking transport system. Okay? It's all the fucking bells and whistles. You can, you, you, you're getting into tens territory, mate. Mm. 1.8 covering the fucking large part. 1.8 You're is off about- your guts, you lion cunts. People put it on. <laughs> people put it on to bring in tourism dollars to showcase their little niche of the world. Mm. It's not to make money, mate. So don't large part me. That's complete horse shit. Milano Katina, US 925 million. What did it cost to put Sochi on? Was it 50 billion or something like that? Maybe that's too much. It was a fucking big number. Huge number. 55 billion. 55. See, this is... This okay, is, yeah. This is where I respect Edward, uh, you know, and I don't like to suck him off as much as it may seem, although when the cameras are off. But, like, your nose for bullshit, I just... That just washes over me. I'm like, oh, yeah, whatever. Like, I didn't even think about large part. You were like, Tobler, can I just ask you a question here? And then just suspicion confirmed. Suspicion confirmed. Yeah. 55 billion for Sochi. I'm like, the man... Has one of the great. He'd be a beagle. You'd see fucking Eddie dragged around an airport, sniffing out bullshit in people's baggage. The man has a nose for it. Hey, Thank you, Tom. Hey, IOC, try a little harder if you want to try and get one past me, old mate. He'll sniff it out. Kind words from a kind friend, uh, but yeah, that's complete not a horseshit from the IOC. Just so everyone knows, and again. Just to reiterate, we're friends of the Brisbane Olympic Committee and we back you 100%. You mean of Bok? <laughs> <laughs> Big fans of Bok. We're huge Bok guys, dude. Uh, and we're also pop guys. And I'm looking forward to the, the, the Paris Olympics. Yeah. I we've discussed also a big bok choy guy. Yeah, so. oh, dude, bok choy in a fucking dude, in do a love, foe, dude. Like a love, love bok choy. Yeah, yeah, might have some tonight. Now it's going. I got a fucking taste for it. We want to turn the studio into the Olympic Village. What do we need for that? Like, what are some of the things that you would need? Well, space. Assume will, we won't have it. Assume there's we no space because we've got no space. We're a move, you smart ass. What do we need? We would need. What, what, like, what sort of accoutrements do we need? I tell you what, we would need. A, to, a can, jar I, can, full I, can of I get us? Can I get us? Get, can I get us started? Yeah. If you don't mind. Mm. Can you go onto eBay Tobler and see what it would cost us to get an Olympic torch from the Sydney 2000 Games? Holy shit. You know, and I'll just say, and I probably won't, wouldn't take this off my auntie, but she is a Paralympian. She won gold, silver, bronze, I think, in the Paralympics uh, back in the day. Could she we borrow them? Has, she carried a torch for the Sydney 2000 Paralympics. Now, that, again, I would feel bad taking How much that do out you of think? the room. 900 bucks. Three grand. Let's buy one. Three dude. grand. That's a lot of money. That's a lot. It's actually, it's actually a pinch more than I was anticipating. Mounted in a timber casing. <laughs> it's like, I'll be honest with you, it's more than I was expecting. The problem is I don't want it mounted. I want it on fire. You'd be able to light it. Yeah, but in here? Why not? Well, I don't know. I guess like a no, it wouldn't, kick, it wouldn't kick off much. 
I just think that you're talking. You're, you said to me, "What do we need to turn this into the Olympic Village?" You no, know, it's we perfect. need an a, we need a, we need an Olympic flame. We need a torch yeah. from the Sydney 2000 Games, yeah, we do. which was said by the IOC president at the time, the greatest games of all time. We all know it. Hasn't been bested. People go, "Oh, London was better." No, it wasn't. No, Shout it wasn't. out to uh, Prue Birmingham of Paralympian weapon swimmer. I don't uh, want to take that from Prue's but, house. No, but we, could we borrow it from Prue? Look, potentially, but she might be a little fr- rattled by that. She'd be. What like, about some of her meds? Medals, not meds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think we want the meds. Um, <laughs> although I've never tried them, maybe we do. Um, <laughs> the medals, again, yes, but oh, look, I'm, I'm going to float it with her. I'm going to float it with her next time I'm oh, Okay, there. I'd say this. But I, I really but I'd say this. We, now. Yeah, no, but what I would say to you is we are sitting here t- talking about what's required to turn this into the Olympic Village. The first thing, the first the thing first that came thing. to my mind yeah. was Olympic medals and Olympic torches, and your auntie has both of those <laughs> I things. I know, dude, I know. <laughs> so, yeah. like, forgive me if no, I'm getting dude, a little giddy no, about it. No, 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 I get it. That's completely reasonable. <laughs> it is reasonable. And... I'm going to have... Prue and I are going to have words. <laughs> okay. Good. We're going to have words. She's also a huge Manly fan. Okay. I... Let's say that Prue tells me to get fucked. Yes. Which would be well within her rights to do yes, so. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. Three grand way too much. Is there a way we can get one cheaper? I don't know how. We also... We know uh, another Paralympian gold medalist who may be prepared to... Maybe bo- let us borrow it. Maybe we'll have to ask Edmo. Him. Edmo, the great. Now, see, I don't know Edmo well enough to just like buzz him on the cell and go, "Hey, Edmo, what's up?" Now, all I know I'm him. saying is, how else man. are we going to get a medal? Again, no, you're right. You're right, and we we'd obviously need to keep it in the case that no one touches. And you I need don't to preserve and, the like, sanctity. And, and I thing. don't. And I just think it'd be bad juju if we were to ask Garside for his silver. Maybe no, we could ask no, Missile no, for his no, silver. No, 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 no. Would Missile lend us his silver? <laughs> Or is Aussie Gold what we want? <laughs> <laughs> I think Aussie Does Gold. Does he have a gold? No, nah, he's silver. No, but did you get one in the real eye? No, he's silver. You're silvers. Devo. Um, we're just we're sitting here musing. That's all that's we're doing. That's all we're doing here. I want a torch though. Now I do. I think torch want one. first. Because the taking people's medals. We're not. No, no, we're not taking. I know them. we're not. We're taking showcasing them. them, Tom. We're showcasing them. Can you put on our... Oh, I'll do it, actually. I'm just thinking we need to get Bradbury in this fucking studio. But what we would need also to get, I think, is uh, framed pictures of all of our greats. Famous Olympic Thorpe, moments. Thorpe, Clem, Kath, Madam Butterfly, Michael Diamond. Bradbury. Bradbury. Stevie Hooks. Stevie Hooks. Uh, Tatiana Grigorieva. Uh, who won the, the hurdles? Oh, Sally Ferguson. Sally Fer- Sally Pearson. Yana Rawlinson, Pittman Rawlinson. Did she win a medal? No, she didn't. She got fourth. She won. Uh, she was world champion. Well, that doesn't get you a photo. It doesn't get you a photo. It absolutely doesn't. It doesn't. That's not a... That's just... That's just Dawn a, Fraser. Oh, Aussie Dawn. Aussie Dawn. Fucking oath, Aussie Dawn. You know what I mean? Yeah, now we're yeah, starting yeah. to put together a bit of a list, and they're going to be everywhere. And this yeah. place is just going to be draped in fucking boxing kangaroos and Australian flags. Yeah, but also a huge, I said this, a huge jar of condoms. Because that's all they do there is they fuck. Now, you and I aren't going to fuck each other. But should the mood strike? But should the mood strike, I want to be safe. Correct. You're better to be safe than sorry, as yeah. they say. We want to turn this into the mecca of should Olympic we, Games. And if you've got some ideas, things that we've missed, well, let us Should know. we get Olympic rings? Like whether it's, an, whether it's an Olympic flag with the rings or whether you get rings made, like a, a neon sign of rings. No, I think you'd, you'd – well, you'd, you'd do something like that. But you hang it. No, but I, I, I quite like hanging shit from the rafters. It will be cold, so we won't need to use the fan. I think it's August, yeah. July, August. But do we get Olymp- – so we get a, a, a flag – I think it's probably easier. Probably a bit cheaper. Well, significantly cheaper. Uh, and there's other things in the pipes that we can't tell you about, but there is a possibility that there'll be a bet in here. Listen, that'd be nice, but there's certainly... What we will be doing is some li- some late-night liveies. For the big stuff. Yeah. 
When it's like so, obviously, first week is when uh, swimming, the athletics, and, and the do- well, the dolphins, the dolphins, yeah, get into their fucking work. Yeah. Swimming's first week, athletics second week. Off the top of the dome, I don't know how many athletics medals we'll be going for. Uh, Matt Denny, maybe is he a discus? Well, he's a discus. We've got he our friend Rowan about. Browning. Well, he's not going to win a medal. No I know he's not. No offense to Rowan, he's not. But Rowan knows that. Rowan, Rowan, Rowan would have his eye on Olympic final. Yeah, and that's that's like winning gold. So, uh, so that so the fucking semi is our final. Listen, if you're white and you make the Olympic final, that's like winning the gold for us white. Did boys. Shervo make it? No, he didn't. Let's get Shervo on that I big believe, monster penis. I man. believe the penis, the the, the lunch the box, flying dong. I believe he came fifth in the semi, one okay. spot short. Oh, tough, tough. But still, you got a big dick, right? No one can take that away from you. You still finished with the biggest cock in the whole comp in the history of the Olympics. Well, I actually would, I'd reserve that. But you got the biggest penis of a white man that's ever been seen in the Olympics. Can we look up uh, Tobler? Qualifying times for the hundred meter final at at Tokyo. Like, what's Rowan got to run to make it? I've now got a real hard on for Aussie two thousands Olympians as well in terms of podcast guests. You know what we got to watch? You know what we have absolutely, absolutely have to have in the studio, and we have to watch it. Fourteen days in September. The Olymp. Well, I used to have it. The VCR chronicling the games in Sydney. It oh. is fucking. Superb. Also, the is it fourteen days or sixteen days in September? Also, the box set of the Dream, Roy and HG, our heroes. Uh, that just as a box set running around, the greatest fucking content of all time. Shout like, out to Roy and HG. No, literally the greatest content of all they'll time. Sh- I wonder if they'll do something. They, I feel like they've since the two thousand, since the Dream, they've done something every Olympics for like in some capacity. The greatest piece of content of all time by the absolute kings of dribble and yarn is it called 14 days in september 16 16 days in september and 10.05 was a qualifying time in tokyo for the final the winning, he's run at 1001 he's, he's run at 10 the winning time was 9.8 he's run at 1001 so he could quali let's go baby he let's was looking go fast. i mean he was running against some australians but i saw him absolutely fuck the field Fuck yeah, in Ryan. a recent bit of footage. So listen, and you gotta watch this. You gotta watch the hundred, regardless Aussies or not. Oh fuck yeah, that's compulsory viewing. Uh, Jess Fox off the top of the dome. Oh, Foxy C one K one. Let's get Jess Fox on the pod. In the C one, in the K one, there'd be new guys. Harry Garsort, our boy, going for gold. Ca- like, ha- well, Harry's winning gold. Happening. We'll be watching Harry punch on for the nation. I'm actually fucking straight up wet for the Olympics. I love yeah. it so much. Slipping off our stools. So, there's the work to be done, but I want to get the 16 days in September VCR, and I want to fucking perch it up over here. Yeah, and I'm also going to, almost tomorrow, just go hard at uh, a list of former and current Olympians that we try and get on here. Liesl Jones, what's she doing? I've got a line to Liesl Jones. She works on Triple M Drive Show. Could you imagine? Friend of the show, Liam Flanagan and Ben Dobbin. Could you imagine swimming... In a home Olympics at 15 years of age, yeah. that is no. fucking insane. No, and winning I silver. Can't. Huh? Silver she won. Yeah. In the individual. I don't know if she won gold in the mixed medley. Don't know. Not mixed. In the medley relo. May have done. 15. What the fuck was I doing at 15? Year nine? Get my first hand job, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I was lucky. <laughs> I can't even remember. 16 days in September, buy that. Buy that right now. Now, VCR though, do we need to get a VCR? Because oh, I want to get a VCR player. Can you buy a VCR player as well? So you can watch Titanic. Because I can watch Titanic. I just think I just think that you and I need to remember where we've come from. Yeah, that's true. We're like, you know, it's all well and good to try and like, you know, I guess um, move with the times, TikTok our life. You know no. what I mean? No. I'm, no. We're VCR guys. Fuck it. I'm putting my foot down. Yeah. Yeah, I was born in 1991. Yeah. Get over it. I was a fuck. Bro, I was in the 80s. You That's are a- fucked. Yeah, that is fucked. That's a fucking DVD. We want the VCR one, man. Well, okay. We, we listen. No, you're right. And a VCR player, Tobler. Find the fucking... <laughs> oh, it's a VCR player. While Get a VCR, that, VCR machine that converts to HDMI, because that's just easier. Well, that, uh, hopefully that exists. I bet you it does. And... 
then get us the VCR. Because then now I can watch Titanic. While you're at it, if you can find a really good copy of Thunder in Paradise on VCR, which is one of Hulk Hogan's great movies. Um, I just think VCR, having a VCR player gives us more range. Well, listen, what studio currently has a VCR? We'd be the only ones. Which just provides actually, us a point actually, of Actually, why don't you do this? Buy the VCR DVD hybrid. What's that? There's one. It's like the, we used to, you can get a machine where it's both. Oh, so yeah, no, just, it's got to be able to play DVDs. Well, that would tick. Well, yes. But, like, I'm not going to watch. I don't have any DVDs. Well, I threw out some DVDs yesterday. I just think it's important that we have both. Fair. Capability for both. Yeah. We've got a 64 in the cupboard just in case. Yeah, it's true. You know what I mean? We need to play that. What do you think we'll be doing when we're fucking watching the Olympics? There's nothing doing and we're watching fucking European handball. Yeah, that's true. Baby, we're, we're playing Mario yeah, Kart. Yeah, uh, middle of the night. You can stream. fucking, you can belt European handball, no offence, dumbest game of all time. Well, we've also got two TVs, so we can have the Olympics still just on mute to the side while, I'm actually know, really pumped Cooper for Trooper over. Park yeah. gets pounded Cooper into the Trooper. world. Cooper Trooper, whatever, gets pounded into the fucking ground. Leave that with us, though. We also will be buying a a torch. <laughs> Three's a lot, though. Three's That's, too much. But 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 then you but then you okay. Well, let me ask you a different question. Can you put a price on history? Let me ask you a different question. You spend a thousand dollars on an artisanal football. Money well spent. No, I don't regret that purchase one iota. Money well spent, but you could argue that a piece of history. Mm. Yeah. I'd like to know who owned it and on what leg yeah. they run. Yeah, who are we buying? You know what I mean? Because well, like each, everyone, everyone that's a runner gets a torch and they keep that. That's their gift. But they run, what, a kilometre or a section of a particular road? Yeah. You know? Because there's, there's some torches are better than others. If you're Not getting, all torches credit equal. Correct. No disrespect. I mean, if you though. turned around and told me that that was the one Kathy lit the fucking thing with at three? Oh, I'd unders. be... Unders. Unders. So it just depends. It just depends. But we need, and worst case scenario, Eddie, maybe we just have an Olympic flame in the studio that burns throughout the whole week. Did you go watch? Weeks. Did you go watch the torch relay? They came through Dubbo. Great day. I did. I don't remember. I went to a couple of the events, the Olympics. I don't remember if I saw the torch relay. One of the great days when they ran the torch through Dubbo. Obviously, yeah. it went to the zoo because it's the best zoo in the country. Who ran through? A couple of Dubbo locals, mate. Can't remember. No one. No one of note. I was pretty young, bro. I was only. You just strike me as a sort of person who'd remember the fucking exactly who it was. Well, I remember. I actually, I remember it. I think we went down to the uh, to Apex Oval that night. They had a bit of a ceremony on down there. If that, if memory serves, we served. may have had someone. I don't know if they ran through Barrow. But we had a we had a Southern Highlands Olympian in Heather Turland. Well, I reckon they would have run through Barrow because they probably nipped past the Bradman Museum. They might have Heather Turland, quite the Olympian, I believe. Don't know if she medaled, but she was, I think, a long dizzy mm. runner. You'd always see her just knocking about barrel, just running. Just running. You'd see her running. You'd be like, oh, fuck, there's Heather running. Just didn't know Heather. She didn't know me. But she, but she was running. She was out there fucking running. Love dude. that. That's great stuff. Yeah, it is. Toby, you got anything for us? Who's the torch was that? Uh, didn't say on eBay. Um, well, then I'm already I'm, I'm already getting my fucking skeptical eyes on. You fucking tell me who's torch. It was is. number, hashtag number 224. Out of a series of 2,000, but I can't be able to, you'd be able to you tell. Check, you'd be able to tell. Two, two, yeah, four. I'm trying to check that. Okay, didn't um, sound Tony like Lockett that. apparently ran the flame from Penrith to Bowral. Plugger. On September 4th, 2000. Plugger was the only motherfucker. He ran it from Penrith to Bowral. So ran and then was like... Driving. There's no way you ran driven. That, you driven, you'd fucking, assume. That's a pretty big run. It's a huge run. Let us continue. Let us. Let us continue. I think he's trying to let us know because he's like, hurry the fuck up. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting, I'm getting snooze vibes over there, dude. These shoes are off. Yeah. But just so you know, guys, you're on an hour 15. I just like fucking... That's what a tote bag would say. Yeah. That's what, we're getting fucking lip from a tote bag over there. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Listen, now, that I, just, I, now listen. that I do know, I like knowing. Yeah. But I do hear a tote bag I just hear it. like a, a tote tone. From a bloke that looks like a tote bag. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Human tote bag over there. <laughs> if we cut you open, tote bags would fall out. Yeah, dude. No, no, they wouldn't. Fresh produce would fall out from the market and like a record. 
and a pair of stocks. Yeah, and some rolly Bee cigarettes. Stocks. Yeah, and a growler. Yeah, and a growler full of fucking uh, Mandarin IPA. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and like and, and a bread and, maker. Yeah, and like homegrown herbs. Yeah. <laughs> Inaccurate? I think not. I think not. Do you grow your own herbs at home? Bullshit, dude. That's a lot. Not yet. Not yet. You have? Yeah. yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah, of course yeah, he has. Yeah. He's, he's nursed a plant back to health. Do you know what I mean? Correct. Um. This is not worth even like getting into too far, but I just know that there's a kid called Forgiveness, first name, <laughs> playing for the Tigers in the lower grades. Plays for the under 16s, second row off the bench. Forgiveness. Full name? Forgiveness Teela. Forgiveness, first name. First name is Forgiveness. Saw it in the P's and D's yesterday. I just like. It's it's fantastic. It's rugby league. It's just it's rugby league to its absolute core. You wouldn't listen. It it you just you wouldn't see someone called forgiveness playing AFL. You just wouldn't see it. No. Like make it that what you will. But you wouldn't see it. No, you just wouldn't see it. Playing in the grand final this Sunday. Fucking oath forgiveness. Anytime can you bet on under sixteens? How funky are the names at your at at daycare? It's funny, dude. Bond are they names. are they funky, fresh, or are they not as funky as I'd imagine? I, listen, I won't go into my specific, my daughter's specific friends' names because I don't know who the fuck listens. I don't want to name kids. Give me but something that it's like. I can't because that'll yes, be very you could. obvious. No, yes. but listen, I'll say this: not at Evie's school, but Bondi Public or one of them. It's like near our house. There is a huge board outside. The start of every year, they go like, um, "Welcome to the new students arriving this year." So it's like a thing yeah, I used to live over the road for yeah, that, that one, right? And Street. they have all the names, and it's like uh, river, ocean. I bumped into a kid, and it sounds like we were mates at the Bondi markets. That Zoe and Evie were just like playing with in the playground. It was like ocean, um, ocean, yeah, ocean. First name, first name, ocean. You know, like it's last name, current. Well, yeah, or or like, uh, <laughs> yeah, ocean current. Um, but so there's a lot of that shit going on. Um, reef, river. You know, you see these ones. You're like, these are things, not names. They're they're sounds or their place. You know what I mean? Like, it all started. I think with Coldplay singer Chris Martin's daughter Apple. I think this. I think that's where the trouble began. Well, it certainly began where like um, where like celebrities felt the need to make a statement with the name of their child. But Chris Martin's daughter Apple would be getting on. Fucking, what's Kanye West kid called? Blue or some shit. No, that's Blue North. I that's North. But then Blue, Blue Ivy, Ivy was Jay Z. Yeah, yeah, Beyonce. yeah. Dude, well, she's fucking getting on. North's bloody releasing an album. Apple's but, turning 20 this yeah, year. Yeah, but North would be. Can North, you find North me a would photo be. Of Apple? North would be 13. Apple, I'm telling you, was the original dish. You know what? I t we tell a lie. The late, great in talent, uh, Michael Jackson with Blanket. <laughs> <laughs> Which. Like, we tell a lie. Which, in terms of inanimate objects, wow, she does look like mum. Congratulations. Yeah, well, like, if you want to look like either of them, you look like mum, right? Bit of dad there, but... Bit of dad, but more mum. What's it? Yeah, yeah, Blanket Jackson. Blanket Jackson was an interesting Where's one. Where's Blanket at? Blanket looks... Jeez, Blanket's Not a like the old man. Well... Blanket no longer. Look at look look at the kids. Blanket closer to a dude. No, like, at this go point. go to all the siblings. Go to all the siblings. Tell me they're from the same dad, from the same nutsack. Well, of course they're not from the same. Tell dad. me they're from the same nutsack. They're not black. Have a gander. But they're not. Have a gander at that and tell me they're from the same nutsack. I don't think they're from any nutsack of Michael Jackson's. They're not from the same nutsacks. The point I'm trying to make. I think they're and and, and apparently blanket. Them. Apparently blanket used to live in a. A mansion by himself at like the age of seven. Well, but like not by himself. 
pretty he, much. What is he's cooking and fucking like cooking paying and the cleaning. bills and shit? Yeah, cooking, cleaning, fixing fucking yeah, work clubber on fixing shit around the house. Yeah, yeah, ripping you know ripping wallpaper off walls and stuff. Yeah, right. So the two elders have the same mother, but then a separate mother for blanket. What's what's blanket? Who's blanket's mother? Like a quilt? Quilt Jackson. Yeah, a pillowcase. Seamstress Jackson. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he's like a he's like a thousand thread count that yeah. count. Throw Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't shock me. We got any photos of blanket as a man? Because blanket that's is that's blanket as a man. There, no, the I know. On. Yeah, but but I'm like we're right now we're on Lil Blanket. Now we're on full blown Derna shit, right? Like, look at the size of that guy. He's got a beard, chest hair. Bit of a look. Again, he doesn't look like Michael Jackson. He doesn't look like any of the Jackson Five. Jesus Christ. What about his brother? Yeah, his older brother looks called? like he looks like from he's from, you know, the Midwest. Well, yeah, he looks very American with that goatee and shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. What's his name? Prince. Prince. Tough. Yeah. I d I'd listen, I don't think a DNA tested be too favourable. No, it wouldn't be favourable. Now, no. look, I mean, is that a little fucking unfair for us to be commenting on that? But, I mean, I can't help it, right? We're not commenting on anything other than to say that he doesn't look like the biological son of Michael Jackson. It no. just it just is what it is. That is what it is. If you look up 1970s Michael Jackson... Pre-whiteness Michael, Mick. He has, a, he has a certain look that does not Michael translate... Blackson. It's not translating to those kids. It's just not. He was a cute kid, man. Look at that off the wall photo of him there. Look at him off the wall. That's the album cover. Look at the look at the man there. Look he, at the man there. That's that doesn't look like Prince or Blanket. It just doesn't. Doesn't look like a blanket, that's for sure. He doesn't look like any of them. It's what's crazy to me is I haven't seen anything like that in my lifetime. I can't imagine living through a transition like that of like the most famous person in the world and being like because when Michael Jackson, when I was alive, Michael Jackson was a white guy. Michael, yeah, Michael had had become white, yeah. He was a white guy. Yeah. Well, well yes. He was. I know he wasn't, but to me, Michael Jackson was a white guy. So then when I saw him as black, it kind of like fucked me up in a sense where I'm like, what's, I don't, in, and again, what was I? Like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like, I don't know what happens in the world where, a, how the fuck did he look like that ever? Well, as a kid, so the the theory as an adult, I don't actually. The theory goes terms. is that he got uh, that the skin disorder starts with a P, like a pigmentation one. Pigmentation issue, which is why he wore the glove initially because it started on his hands, and then so he wasn't like blotchy. He just got it sped up, Vitiligo. which makes sense. Yeah, Vitiligo. Vitiligo. Yeah. Is, Vitiligo. which makes sense. So. Question makes sense. Absolutely, it does. Is there a single photo ever anywhere of him getting it? I'm not saying it's not true. I'm just trying to work out what's the go here. It's crazy because he is black and he looks like Michael Jackson, except with the fucking. He obviously fucking fucked his nose up in the Pepsi commercial. Apparently, no, dude. That's where they think it started. Caught on fire, and he had like corrective surgery. Bull his head and his hair shit. and his hair and nose going for that's what they say. Too many excuses. <laughs> Maybe. Listen, he didn't. He he wouldn't have had the best upbringing. He would have had the most fucked upbringing. He was well. Apparently, he was castrated. Yeah, kept his voice high. Yeah, don't know Heard if that's that as true. Well, Castrata, also uh, a pedophile, apparently. Um, but imagine having. Like he was one of the, he was probably the most famous person on the planet at times. Probably was, and then went through the transition he went through. He was a real trans guy early on. Like he was like pre-trans. Well, not in the not in the modern sense. No, in a, well, in his own in his own in his sense. own sense. So so do they? Is the commonly held belief that it was Vitilago? That's what is I've, that or is that just the excuse? Like, does Vitilago just start? And does it go reverse? Could someone become black? No, I don't think so. That'd that be could a, be wrong. That'd be a more. See, there you go. Oh fuck! It's on his face. Okay, I'm a. I'm more believing now. Can you get that one like in the middle where his face is fucking on his body and shit? Okay, I'm. I'm with you, Mike. There's a, there's a lot of other things I'm not with you on, but but, like, but unfortunately. 
look at that photo we're looking at now. Even though he's lightened considerably, he still looks, quote unquote, like himself. But then the this, yeah. But then the last one, you're like, who is that? Well, that's a that's a that's who a, the fuck's that guy? That's a a demon. <laughs> Literally, that late. He like, looks so fucked dude, up. Dude, you wake up and see late. Late in life, Michael Jackson, like staring at you in the, Ooh, the edge of your bed. That's, head that's for the hills. one of the more terrifying things I've ever seen. Head for the hills. Can you get that one, please, Tobler, next to the one you've just clicked where it's just his face is like black and white? I it don't, don't matter if you black or white. I don't know how accurate that is. That's not real. Yeah, okay. That's I not don't real. think that's real. That's not real. Also, anyway, how do we get on to Michael? What were um, we talking about? Um, oh, uh, forgiveness. <laughs> <laughs> Who's playing in the NRL? Oh, the the, the, the grand under sixteens this weekend. And yeah, we wish like him all him. the best. And we do wish him all the best. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you get the Nick Kotrick video up? <laughs> yeah, I got it here. Nick Kotrick was doing some shit for Channel Nine um, with uh, fuck. Is that Wolford? Is that his name? Uh, not one hundred percent sure. I don't know. See if he's tagged. But so they're doing promos. Just pause it. They're doing promos for Channel 9, whatever, like Channel 9, 9 now, whatever. We're KO guys. Let's just let that be known. But I won't allow that to get in the way of some funny content. So they're trying to do a promo for Channel 9, 9 now. And Nick Kotrick, or Chotrich, uh, is, he can play rugby league. Kid cannot fucking punch out a promo to save his goddamn life. It is Zach Wolford as well. Zach Wolford, there you go. Shout out to Zach Wolford. On Channel 9 and 9 now. Turn it up, live and free. On Channel 9, 9 now. <laughs> Rolls mine again. Turn it up, live and free. On Channel 9, 9 now. <laughs> and 9 now. That's it, 9 now. Nah, you forgot, you forgot oh, the end. Oh, you just, you just blurted it out. <laughs> Turn it up, live and free. And Channel 9 and now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, on oh, Channel 9 and 9 now. I said it. Go, you go said again. In. Go, go. <laughs> Turn it up live and free. <laughs> oh, we're going to be a long time. Oh, go, bro. Sorry. Are you yeah. sweet? You stop, you're making me laugh. <laughs> I can't do I this, bro. Am I turning up live and free? I'm, just, I'm rattled me. <laughs> stop. Turn it up live and free. On channel nine, nine now. <laughs> no, no, nine now. Oh my god. Are you oh, bro, I can't. You make me laugh too much. Channel nine and nine. Oh, go, go. Now. <laughs> Turn it up live and free. On channel nine and now. <laughs> <laughs> Are they trying to like stop, wrap them up? <laughs> no, you, they're like, turn it up live and free on channel nine and nine now. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> Has he shaved his eyebrows in there, Cotter? Oh, yes. yes. Like over 10 goes. Oh, mate, please. You can't say and nine oh. on channel nine now. He can't. <laughs> Oh, bro. Yeah, he's, 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 there's some eyebrow work there. Big time. You ready? No, I want to make him get it through it. Let's make him get through it. Well, what am I saying again? On channel nine. Yeah, nine now. And, and nine, nine now. now. <laughs> just nice and easy. Turn it up live and free. On channel nine and... <laughs> oh, my oh, my God. God dude. Oh, my God. He's got one line. Mate. He's got one line. I tell you what. Zach Wolford came at that looking fucking. I like Zach Wolford. Oh, He's big a funny fan, big fan of Zach Wolford. Uh, that was hilarious. That was having me kecking on the couch last night. Tasmanian Devils AFL. What do you reckon? Well, but t t is it the Tasmanian Devil? 
They're Tasmania Devils. The Tasmania Devils feels weird, doesn't it? They're the Tasmania Devils because the Tasmanian Devil is owned by Warner Brothers. Yes. Looney Tunes. They apparently, I I read this somewhere, were being massive cunts about this whole thing until they they realised that the Tasmanian Devil is, is a, a real, real animal. animal. But then they still wouldn't let him have Tasmanian. Nope. But I was of the understanding and... That's a tenuous fucking link to understanding because I understand very little. That you can't like, it's a thing. So you can't like copyright a thing or a place. Like, you know, like you couldn't copyright dingoes because they're a fucking, it's a name. Like you can't, Tasmanian or Tasmania, you can't, you know, it's helped with some of our merch. But it's, you could look at it as well. It's not New South Welshman Waratahs. It's New South Wales, Waratahs. It's Tasmania is the state. Yeah. The name of the state is Tasmania, not Tasmanian. Good point. And you might just be hanging on to Tasmanian devils because of the character. Whereas if they didn't have that character, it'd just be... Well, also the animal. It's called a a Tassie devil. I wonder if they'd be better off calling them the Tassie devils. Like the Western Bulldogs is not a, you know... Could you just call them the Tassie Devils? It's probably what people will do. That's why they've gone, fuck it, we'll just call them Tasmania Devils. You can suck our dicks, Warner Brothers. Yep. What would Warner Brothers be able to do globally, speaking? Or I guess they've got a presence in Australia they'd be able to sue them. Yeah, I don't know. I, I really don't know how it works. They've obviously locked this thing up globally. That's the Tasmanian Devil, the character you know and love. Shout out to Donnie Sports. I, I think he, I saw a video of him doing something where it was like, uh, different names, and one of them was like the siblings. The siblings, <laughs> Tasmanian cousins. Oh, I like Tasmanian that. Siblings. That's fucking good. How many people live in Tassie? Is it three hundred fifty thousand? Is that it? Five hundred forty thousand. Yeah, not far off. They've already had, I think, and this was a couple of days ago, eighty thousand people pre-registered to be yeah, members. I saw that. So this is this is a lot of groundswell down. Well, there. this is like the first fucking. Well, it's. The I first tell you, he'd be coming in his little pants. Punner Bev. Oh Bev, but Bev's a dogs fan now. Yeah, What's but he surely do? he flips. You, he's oh, a hurricane. He's a jack jumper. Like surely he's a he devil. Does, he, he goes to the devil. You'd have to. Bev, I saw a funny video the other day where he was basically saying because I think the Western Bulldogs must suck in the AFL at the moment. And he was like, he does this video and he's like, we haven't been that good, but like we got beaten by Melbourne by 50 points last year. We just need to be better than that, even if we don't win, but we got to be better than that. And then the next video is him in the stands with one of the saddest looks on his face and just the score, and they got beaten by like 56. Oh, my God. Bev. Shit, yeah, Bev. There, uh, yeah, I like it. I like Tazzy getting a team. I do, what do you think of the design of the devil? Don't like it. Don't like it. Sorry. I don't, don't want like to be it. a hater because I want the, you know, I, I don't mind the devils. I like that Tassie's got a team to fucking. I love that Tassie have a team. And after the Swans, they're my second favorite team. Automatically. Man, I'm probably going to go Swans, GWS, then Tassie. Fuck GWS. Tassie second. Do you know what Bulldog Richie did the other day? Or he did in this article today. And like, listen, Bulldog Richie, you know. He's Bulldog. And he's on RL360 right now. I don't know how I feel about it. And that's what it is. It's, it is what it is. Uh, he also was the one that wrote the fucking Benji Marshall article, um, which is what it is. Am I shocked by that? No. He did an article today where it, the headline is, You're Nobodies, or something like that in the telly. I'll d- double check it. He stood in like Parramatta Square. And listen, you and I shit on AFL as much as the next man or woman. He stood in uh, like a square in Parramatta and he gets the first fucking you and you open the back page this got him the back page story or like the one inside from the back page face it they're nobodies and he went and asked he stood there for an hour and asked people if they recognized (laughs) Giants players (laughs) I'm like this guy is a he's a phenomenally big dribbler love that absolutely love it 
My problem with the, the with the logo, if I could just cast an eye over what I'm seeing, is that the devil is the same colour as the shirt, so he's not popping, or yep. they're not popping. Yeah. She's not popping. She's not popping, they aren't popping. They're not popping. Like They're not popping off the jersey. Also, they're you, not black. And you, you, you're skimming over it. Devils you're aren't, skimming over it. Devil, sorry, devils aren't green, they're black. Or dark brown. I, I like I I don't mind if you take a little bit of creative license. Well, I feel like the they But I'd like to see a bit more devil. I'd, well, say, I'd like to see the whole bod. They don't have long flowing hair. There's creative license there. They aren't, you know, like make them they don't have yellow hair on their face. Make them make it like the color it is. Make yeah. that bitch pop. You could even make it a dark brown. It doesn't need to be black. You can make it a dark, dark brown. Dark brown pops off that green. Oh fuck you, yeah, baby. Fuck you. Yeah, pops all day. I also think that having a giant T inside of the state of Tasmania outline is a bit much. Like we get it, Tasmania. You've got you've got your side. Well, you call the Tasmania Devils. Do we really need a cut out of the state? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't even mind the cut out of the state as much as I do the T. The it, T's unnecessary. Surely you're gonna have advertising there, or do they not fuck like that in the AFL? Listen, it's a promo jersey. They probably will have sponsors on there, wouldn't they? I don't know. Maybe not. Do they? I don't know if they do in the AFL. I think the jerseys are pretty clean. Just find like a photo of like an AFL grand final. Or I like rugby league. Nah, yeah, they've got one on the breast, some of them. That's it. But Just not fine. all of them. Rugby league, we're like... Oh, we'll drown that bitch. We'll cover you in that. Oh, we'll, we'll drown that bitch. Jackson Pollock you. Oh, sponsors. we'll Pollock that shit. Fuck yeah. But pump to see how the Tassie Devils do. When do they come in? 2025? 2028. 2028. Yep. 2028. Relax. Fucking hell, they've given them a runway. Relax. 2028? And so they've changed the way... What the fuck? The way PBL's like, we'll have a team in two years. Bang. Bringing in, like, so when they brought in GWS and the Suns, I think they gave them a bunch of extra cash to use in their salary cap, but they're giving um, Tasmania, like, eight out of the top ten picks in the draft, but that they can then use to trade for players. Whereas that wasn't done last time, so instead of like, like getting all these ten top ten picks from the draft, they're all young. Takes the team years to develop. Uh, They'll be able to establish a much stronger team. Swap like a fourth pick with a really good player from another club, that actually and have a sense. better quality team at the start. That's a way smarter idea. I yeah, think. I like that. That's nice. I don't want to draft in the NRL because I don't want to lose like weapons, but I do like if I wish I gave more of a fuck about AFL so the draft would get me excited. You know what I mean? Like I could have the best of both worlds where my manly seagulls don't get fucked by a draft. Yeah. And then I can just enjoy one in AFL and I just can't. I or try. like a man, or like manly doesn't put, they need to put the players up for the draft. Yeah, you know? We can draft to the players we don't have to put We don't have to draft ourselves. Like we just get rules. Like an you know, I, I agree with you. Call it manly rule. Yeah. Um Back to that list, Tobler. I don't know if there's much more that I can be bothered to go through. As what's well, maybe should we check in with Cody for a time check? Yeah, one forty. Maybe a couple of dribbles and we'll couple fuck of off. Dribbles, then we'll get out of here. I reckon. Shout out to Brandy and Vossi while we're waiting for the dribbles. Who I did feel unfairly had a crack at Josh Mansour, who went on a podcast because he was asked. So for those of you who don't remember, he basically was just speaking about um, how South Coast Jason Demetrio gaslit the fuck out of him, to use a real buzzword. Um, but he spoke about it on the Buy Round podcast with James Graham about how like Jason Demetrio was like, oh, you picked him aside the and then dropped him at captain's run and then didn't tell him he was getting kicked out of the club and then he was the first player on the fucking screen. And then Brandy and Vossi were like, this just seems like a bit of a witch hunt for Justin Demetrio. <laughs> and you're like, well, it's not a fucking witch hunt. They're like, oh, geez, this is like, you know, uh, he wasn't a, this is a non-story. Like, he wasn't even that big of a player anymore. It's like, so does he need to be like a big player to be deserving of respect from his club? Like, is that what you're saying? Why do these players feel like they need to go on a podcast and fucking just like, to, you know, speak all this shit? And you're like... So in, under what circumstances do you define that a player can go and, like, speak, right? Like, should he not be able to speak because he wasn't a fucking rep player by the end of his career? Should he just have to shut the fuck up if he feels like he's been mistreated? Basically. He's also got his own podcast, Let's Trot, where he hasn't brought it up once. He hasn't gone on there and fucking pissed and moaned and bitched and whinged. 
But then he's on another podcast where he's asked a question. And he's like, yeah, well, this is how it happened for me. Mm. He didn't shit on JD about his coaching. He didn't. He just goes, this is what my experience was. And you've even got South fans who are like, don't let the door hit you out your ass on the way out. You're like, why the fuck? What's with the like blatant disrespect of man? So like, JD has, has, has been in the spotlight for a little bit around like the way he conducts himself. As a coach, slightly, Sam Burgess fucked off saying that they were, you know, whatever the fuck he was saying when he left about, like, the way the club was running. Lachlan Ilias gets, <laughs> gets dropped after two rounds. I'm not saying he shouldn't either. Like, I'm, he's not playing well, but, like, there's a shitload of players in that side that are rep players, world-class players that also aren't going well. Now, are you going to drop Trell? Are you going to drop Cody? No, you're not. But... Do you drop a player after two rounds? I don't know. But this whole Mansour fucking pile on from like your brandies and Vossi the world is like, that seems a little fucking random. And I bet they would have been more than happy if he'd come on SEN and fucking said it. <laughs> anyway. I think so, mate. Well said. Well said. Shout out to Mansour. All right. <clears throat> a couple of dribs before we go, eh? Just a couple. Of. Just a couple. Of. Wake up, totes. <coughs> going on boys Logan from Newcastle um, about five or six years ago I was living in Dubbo and uh, me and an old mate oh yeah we uh, loaded up on a bit of passion pop and some goon bags um, so I think it was like a Friday or Saturday night and I used to live like a block away from the Dubbo skate park mate goes on for a yonder down there at about 10 11 o'clock at night I get a phone call about 20 minutes later telling me to bring him toilet paper because he's decided to take a shit in the big bowl at the Dubbo Skate Park. So That's that was an adventure in itself, having to walk down blind drunk to go get him toilet paper. Following day on Dubbo Thumbs Up, Thumbs Down, someone puts up in uh, like a post saying, thumbs down to the dirty fucking shit who decided to take a shit in the bowl at the Dubbo Skate Park. And my mate's uh, mum absolutely ripped him a new arsehole. So there's a uh, funny story for you. Fuck South Sydney. Now, the mum know. Well, what's the double thumbs up, thumbs down? It's obviously a Facebook page that's I was I not thought. aware of. No, that's that's more like that's where my interest just naturally went because I like small town shit. Like, you know, double thumb, like the barrel one that we got on when I was having my sign down there. Oh, the Boomer Brigade. Yeah. Brigade. Yeah. I've never heard of Dubbo Thumbs Up, Thumbs Down. It's got almost 20,000 members. Jeez. What are they thumbs upping and thumbs downing? Uh, to give good or bad feedback from experiences you have had in businesses, et cetera. Well, give, like, give us a recent one. Well, like, obviously oh, the, it's private, so I'm trying to join. Okay. The rest Fuck. of our would be all thumbs up, you'd imagine. Can, uh, just quickly as a content piece, right? Yep. I've never been to the resto bar. No, you haven't. I just think We tried. We did try. No, it hasn't been for a lack of trying. But I think that we need to... Work out a time where we either rent a car or we get tickets and we fly to Dubbo and we go and I try and like the whole thing, we speak to rest of our, let them know we're coming and we just go and we fucking bury ourselves. Like we, I just want to bury myself. We can do that. We can definitely do that. I, I'll be there. I'll be there over Easter. Yeah, I won't be there. Just telling you. The Raj. I'll be the I'll be the rest of bar. You're the rest of bar. Right? I think if we were going to do it, we'd need to do it properly, which would mean that we'd need to fly up and go there at night because it's better at night. Right. So Chandeliers maybe, at all okay. at Al. Yep. Chandeliers full full glisten. It just it's just got a vibe at night. I don't even I've never been there during the day, but I know the vibe at night's electric. All right. Well, let's maybe work that out. Do we do we bring our wives or yeah. is this a no, we'd bring our wives. We'd fly out for a night and yeah. we'd go to rest bar for dinner. Yeah. And then go, where's the, where would we go out after? There's plenty of places. Or do we just go, go back to the Simpson household and tie one on? No, we'd go out. We'd go out for sure. Fuck yeah. All right, well, let's do that. Uh, pooing in a skate park. If it was just for like the pleasure of it all, I'm not here to kink shame, but that's a, that's an odd, it's an odd call. Pooing? Yeah, well, no, just pooing in a, in a skate bowl. It's a big call. Get that stuck in your trucks, dude. Yeah, you don't want to get that stuck in the trucks, mate. Nah. The, you, the ball bearings won't work. Man. The, the wheels. Bearings, yeah, dude. What That's bearings tough. you used to rock, mate? Dude, I actually used to know all of this shit. What did they go up to? Eights, elevens, I think? Oh, dude, I used to be so into it. I can't. 
I can't remember. For I think I just had independent. Was trucks. one was one the slowest? That was shit. Like if you had ones, you may. That's like you get that at the Easter show. But that's how slow they were, right? But big, like, that's like a big W ball. Like you'd need to basically be on a vert ramp for those wheels to move. I uh, I think I had independent trucks. What were the wheels? Bird. They weren't birdhouse wheels. What were they? And you kept them in like the freezer or some shit. Um, birdhouse. Tony Hawkeye. That was a board though. I know it was a type of. I had an alien workshop board, board which I snapped almost the second I landed in Australia from America. Was it? Was that when you snapped it with us? Yeah. Oh, you. St- oh, that was it. That was my alien workshop. When I was younger, I had a weird. Like I can't remember what I had, but I had. A, I snapped my alien workshop. What bearings were you rocking? I can't remember what the types of bearings were. What skateboard bearings? You just go like the. the Radical uh, Red X. No, the number like. The, oh, it was. Um, no, no, no it, not the number. Went up the in the brand. Oh, you brand. brand. Red X sounds familiar. Keep going. Like the best uh, ones. A few bones. Like bones. Tecton. Yeah. Mini logo rush. That's it. There was a there was a skate store in store in Dubbo called Skate, which is a great name. That's well. Listen, it's it's certainly great. My voice is going. It's just cutting out on me. Well, I'm mid sentence and it just cuts it's out. It's been a big lift today. Yeah, it has. Um, let's keep going. Let's keep going. I want to find these bearings though. Keep going. Uh, Tom, Eddie, Tobler, uh, White Mamba, the Steak Club dribbler here. Uh, I've been a bit away for a while, enjoying some nice steaks, and uh, I just was wondering if you boys are familiar with the terminology Roman Empire. Um, because there's been my Roman Empire for the last three months has been a story, uh, uh, the mighty Glen Haven Christmas Carols, when the Parramatta Eels legend Nathan Hindmarsh, Hindmarsh was walking around dressed like Santa Claus, uh, thinking that you know we went back uh, and were friends, which I, in hindsight, we definitely aren't. Heine walked past and I said, "Wow, the real Santa Claus isn't that bad." To which Nathan Heimarsh proceeded to stare at me intensely for 20 seconds before saying, I don't know how to respond to that, and walking off. I come to find out that he's been on the man Uh So, yeah, I just felt like a bit of a cunt, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, what are your Roman Empire thoughts? Uh, I don't... I'm not following. What's Roman Empire? Is Roman, Roman Empire is something you think about. So you remember there was that? There was a yeah, I remember that, where it's like men think about the Roman Empire. What's something the you hi- obsess about every day. That's what he's been obsessing about every day. About Heimarsh being fat. About him calling Heidi okay, fat so and being a cunt. Said it, right? Shout out to Mad Dog for being worth like 600. 600? Did you read that the other day? Yeah, I did. 600. That's a lot of money. 600. That's a lot of do re me. Mad Dog. Not that I didn't see it coming. I mean, no I didn't one see saw it coming. It, no one saw it coming. But 600, that's Conor McGregor's shit. How does he spend his money? I don't think he does, dude. Oh, tight cunt? Well, no, I'm not saying that he is, but I mean, like... He he's not buying Lamborghini No, nah, he doesn't seem like he's the sort of guy who's, like, frivolous with his money. But I don't know him at all, so that's If you're it. worth 600 million... I'd blow that fucking shit. Like, but, you, you know, you're, you can afford things. You can afford basically everything. If I had 600 million... I'd bank five and blow a hundred. Blow a hundred. If you had six hundred million, you'd bank five hundred and blow a hundred. At the, that's how I'd start things off. That's how I'd kick proceedings off. Is <laughs> go take five hundred away from me. What would you spend a hundred on? Whatever the fuck I felt like. It'd be. But what would come? What would be? What would be come a knocking at the the first? It'd be a mansion somewhere, and not too big either. Because I actually wouldn't want a house so big that I couldn't like manage it. You know what I mean? Like cleaning's a cunt, and obviously I wouldn't do cleaning. But like, you I wouldn't, wouldn't clean. You wouldn't no, but, be but I wouldn't want something like obnoxiously large. So you, you can be, you can have a, your house can be too big. Yeah, it can be, and it can be a problem, right? Yeah. I'd prefer to have, and you know, like, oh fuck, this thing's wrong. Like nothing's ever fixed. It's like the Harbour Bridge; they're constantly painting the bastard. Correct. I wouldn't want that. No. But I'd blow some fucking money on a house. Yeah. Couple of houses. Was that what was that yarn about the bloke that I think it was the one of the biggest ever Powerballs in American history? Bloke got a third of it. I think it was like in the billions, and he blew through it all. I, I think, think he died three days later, uh, cocaine overdose with uh, ladies of the night by his side. Yeah. Now listen, I wouldn't spend it that way, but I have to. You, I respect the gameplay, not how I'd do it, but I, I can understand. He, listen, he's got excited. I can understand the how your eyes got, the get too big for your The stomach. bloke's got excited. Yep. He's got really excited. I think that's a myth, unfortunately. Okay. Tough. Tough. 
had me fooled. Yeah, I was on. I was on board. Let's keep going. Uh, bunker slash toilet dribbler here, living in the Apple Isle. Chocolate fountain. Yes. It's a smoke screen, lads. Smoke screen um, so we can get the stadium. That's what it's all about. The stadium. Yes. Stadium for AFL slash uh, Taylor Swift uh, micro uh, fucking concerts. But yes, and we'll get rugby league down here. We had rugby league down here quite a while ago. We had the Western Reds play um, Adelaide team. Who were the Adelaide team in the Super League? Adelaide, Adelaide something or other. But Rams. it's a smoke screen. Rockcliffe, he's a spud farmer from the northwest. He knows what people want in that area. So what they want chocolate. Let, it, let dogs lie here because he gets those votes. If we get him in, we get a fucking stadium. All right. Love yous. Rabbits 13 plus. Here's Sue. Boo. So if, let me get this right. He's committed to build a stadium for a team that's already been announced. Uh, but the way he sees... Re-election happening. Re-election happening is to woo the chocolate people of the far north, whatever. That, like, I guess getting a vote through the stomach as opposed to, or the mouth, you know, rather than the, the, the football boot. Right. So he's basically, would it be like a BFFB sort of big fat feral bogan voters? Like, can they be wooed by chocolate fountains? I... As a friend of the chocolate, generally, don't want to, nor do I feel comfortable to, lump all uh, all chocolate enjoyers in with the big fat feral barley bogan uh, of turning a jet star flight around fame. I don't think that's fair. What I will say is, though, you can you can trick a chocolate fan into doing almost anything if you fucking have the right amount of chocolate. So. Mm. What this, well, it's, it's bribery 101. What this politician is doing, and I respect it, is he's gone, you like chocolate? Well, let me just... <laughs> Louie, you over here with a, with a big chocolate fountain and uh, a chocolate lab and a chocolate workshop, if I remember correctly, Edward. And then when I get you through the door, Trojan horsing him with chocolate. Get you through the door, here's a stadium. It's a classic case of Trojan horse. Classic. Absolute classic. Big fan. Yep. Huge fan. And he's a potato farmer, which I respect. Fuck yeah. That's good stuff. One more. Hey, boys. Just had a quick question. Who do you think the hotter KP is? Katy Perry or Kalen Ponga? Silly question. I'm a straight Kalen man. I'm, I'm stumped on this, so love to hear your boys' opinion. Stumped. Cheers. Boy. It's pretty fucking obvious. It's Kalen Ponga, but early days, I kissed a girl and I liked it, Katy Perry. Very hot. Katy Perry's not moving the needle anymore. And that's no disrespect, but I kissed a girl and I liked it, Katy Perry. Katy Perry's not moving the needle right now. She's no. just not. And that's not from an, a looks perspective, just generally zeitgeist vibes. It's all, it's fucking Doja Cat and... Dua Lipa. Oh, bruh. I saw a video the other day. Dua Lipa might be the hottest person to have ever existed, right? I'm, I may have said that before about other people. You've said it before about other people. Well, who hasn't? Find the video of Dua Lipa speaking Spanish. <laughs> Shut the gate. <laughs> Shut the gate. Is that it? Pack her up? Dua Lipa speaking Spanish. Pack her up. Home time. Bruz. Wrap it up stuff. Barstool did an article on it. Get the video up. Is this the one to. of her in the car? Yeah, dog. Well, I can't say it. No, you need to say it. She's so hot, it's ridiculous. Podemos escuchar la radio, por favor. Gracias. Nice work, Shut Dua the Lipa. Gun. Nice yes. work. Where'd, where'd she get the Mexican? The Mexican where, where did from? she? Where'd she? That's what I mean. When Which, you when you, and but like that Mexico City sunshine, fuck the yeah. accent though, like it's not like it's not like broken English, you know what I mean? Like she can speak that shit. Is she is she of Spanish Mexican? No, dude, she's like uh, Latin American. No, 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 no. She's English like and Albanian. Albanian, yeah. Okay, so where the fuck's the Spanish come from, baby? Hot stuff. Point is, Dua Lipa, Dua Lipa, however the fuck Duolingo. you want to pronounce it, is far hotter right now. 
moving the needle right now than Katy Perry. That's all I'm saying. Way hotter, dude. But Caelan Ponga is still moving the needle from a football perspective. But, Ju- so but Dua Lipa hotter than both. Correct. Comfortably. Easy. Like, maybe hottest person on that the That wasn't right difficult. Now. That wasn't difficult. And dance as well. <laughs> Big fan. <laughs> That's us. Love yous. That's us, punters and dribblers. Shout out to you. Much love to you. Big Day Rosé on sale right now. Get it in time for Easter. Uh, fare thee well. Fare thee well. We fare thee well. Could you two just not talk anymore? <laughs>